Hello there! Welcome to another episode of Dungeons, Dice and Dudes, where we bring those three things together and make magic a one! <laughs> 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 uh, welcome back to episode two of the Arisen arc. Uh, I'm George, I'll be the DM for the next few sessions on this arc whilst Nathan has a little rest, so uh, welcome back if you listen to episode one. and. Uh, I'm going to roll into episode two for some more fun and games and all that jazz. I think you just lost the game. Oh, you oh. fuck! Oh. Oh. Disadvantage oh. for the entire oh, no, session. Now. You no, barely have yeah. a voice and you're still finally time to do that. Yeah. I nearly died fuck last chicken time. chicken strips, alright? Um, that's a good point though, actually. Uh, we are down one player this evening. Uh, Danilo won't be playing with us. And we're almost down another player. Nathan, could you give us your uh, loudest voice? I'm drunk right now. Oh, oh, okay. that was fine. Oh, yeah, that was You've just been good. milking it the whole evening. I really had to concentrate on that. <laughs> <laughs> now he's definitely yeah. drunk. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, you're peeking on the uh, recorder. You trying to catch a peek? Oh. Kind of vibe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Nathan, your voice is a bit shot, isn't it, love? Yeah. I really had to like will myself to get better for this. Mm. So you listeners out there, we really we put in the extra mile for you. But it's kind of husky and sexy, though, man. So, you know, maybe we'll, our viewer base will double after this episode. Yeah. Mm. I mean, my character is supposed to be almost prepubescent, so yeah. <laughs> <It's gonna laughs> <be interesting. laughs> and we're also up one player this week. Hey yo! Hey. I have arrived. I've come. I've come. 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 Uh, Come. Tim is Come. joining us for this session and you're going to be introducing your character as we get into it. So uh, that'll be yeah. fun and games Actually, as well. <laughs> <laughs> so all the logistics out of the way, let's go through our usual messages. Uh, if you are listening to us on a particular <coughs> platform and you want to switch your platform up, try something new, or listen to a completely different podcast altogether, sigh. Hit them with the knowledge. What's up, everyone? This is Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh, yeah, you've you know, just ruined the whole recording. You you to, uh, it's full bars. Oh Stop my it. God. All right, I'll go again. No. Hey, everyone. Uh, Simon here. Um, so, uh, you can catch the podcast on... Please leave that in. On <laughs> I'll leave it in. Yeah. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, <laughs> Google Podcasts, Overcast, Amazon Music, CastBox, Pocket Casts, Radio Public and Stitcher um, or if you'd like to keep track of us uh, you can follow us on the anchor.fm website by searching Dungeons, Dice and Dudes where you can stay up to date if you follow our RSS feed I think that's how that works loves me an RSS feed oh, yeah. that's hot yeah that's hot really really great stuff so if you're <laughs> you know we appreciate anyone that listens so tell your friends <clears throat> And uh, if they uh, want to try something different, well, what got? if you on if um, actual play podcasts aren't really your thing, and you want to get into the crunchy mechanics of how TTRPGs work, then <laughs> our consigliere Danilo Vojovic has a sensational <laughs> podcast called Thinking Critically where they dissect different themes of the TTRPG framework weekly. Um, insert latest episode uh, coming up now. Um, where I think all of us have been guests at some point or another, mm. or are in the process of making that work. Um, yeah, hour out of your time, learn a little bit more about TTRPGs, mainly D&D. And... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun time. Fun listen. I'm a big fan. Great. Thank you, Si. You sweet, sweet boy. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> 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 um, so uh, that's that covered. So, uh, and, but if you, know, you want to learn more about what we're up to, you want to see lots of fun pictures and videos of us sitting around a table in this heat, sweating, rolling dice... <laughs> Goodness, my, me, why wouldn't you want to see that? I'm uh, stuck to this chair by the end of the night. Oh, <laughs> and pictures of that are available where, Tim? <laughs> so, if you want to see that great image of my ass cheeks, then... Uh, wait, no. Different website wait, for that. What? <laughs> different website for that. Um, for a subscription package for that? <laughs> my <Mike Maybe>. bio. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can go on Instagram and find us under Dungeons, Dice and Dudes. Uh, we have lots of pictures, lots of cool stuff, and... 
Uh, it's under new management currently, so uh, there'll be more content for your wonderful eyes. And if you're also fancy tweeting, because you know you like cancelling people, then um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then you can find us under the handle Dungeons underscore Dudes. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Uh, alrighty. And then last but not least. If you want to save yourself some money on some fantastic <coughs> products in this beautiful world of nerddom, what you got for us, Mr. Nathan? I'm going to try my best to get through this. So. <coughs> oh, so sexy. Game Tea is a wonderful company based in the UK who specialise in handcrafted luxury items. <laughs> I've really steamed up over here, man. I am um, tall. <laughs> I've lit the candle. <laughs> yeah. Specifically made for geeks and gamers worldwide. That's right. They ship worldwide. So if you fancy getting yourself some new dice, perhaps a t shirt with your favourite class on it, or maybe even a candle, as Sai pointed out, that smells like a roaring fire, then you can head on over to Game Tea and at checkout use the discount code. The Briggsy, that's T H E B R I double G S Y, to get 5% off of your entire order. Ooh. Not only does that support us, but you get cheaper items and you support a company that is a big fan of the LGBTQIA community. Win, win, win. Fuck me. I don't know about you, but I've got a roaring fire in my pants <laughs> right now. <laughs> I've never been so sexually provoked to want to go and buy items on a website. That, that, I think they're going to want that to have as just like a thing that plays when you visit the website. <laughs> just your voice. <laughs> oh. It's hard. It's very armchair smoking jacket. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. If my voice could just stay like this for the rest of my days, I'd be happy with that. Yeah. It would give me even more of a reason to buy those earphones or the microphone as it is. You can make your noises, tongue them. Oh. Pop them in the stew. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching a recent one where she's just got rubber gloves on and she just... Into the ear mic. Oh. Just does that. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I am <laughs> I'm spent. I don't even know if I can run this game now. But I've come. Yeah. Um, that's it. That's, I think that's all of our messages off the top. So shall we... Uh, Oh, oh. One final one. Oh, okay, so, um, all right, you've got some more for us, have you? <laughs> yeah, it relates to relates back to uh, socials. Uh, please tweet the... <coughs> Come on. Please tweet the um, Twitter page saying dice so we can offload some of George's dice yeah. onto a very lucky winner. I'm, I'm just carrying so much weight in my bags with dice. I need to share the load. Right. You are encumbered. I feel yeah. like the heat has affected us today and we're all a bit on heat. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a silly, of, silly mood today. Lots of references to I mean, coming. It's 10 to 9 and we haven't started yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Don't date the episode. Don't date the episode. Yeah, yeah. Like giving and, and it to me. Yeah, <laughs> that'll figure it out. You sick bastard. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> fuck the lots of you. Shall we play some D and D? Hell yeah. Are you oh, ready? Oh yeah, I'm so ready. Are you ready? I'm Let's so get ready. ready. So, 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 <laughs> sucker. <laughs> so, we're gonna start this session by me throwing a pen on the floor. No, we're gonna start this session. Uh, with a recap of the last session before we dive into it. So in the last session, our heroes arrived at the Festival of Summer's Close, a massive event that overruns the rural town of Wysul, and an event like no other across all of the empires of Zemimir. Races, cultures and classes from all over the continent meet and drink and socialise under the backdrop of entertainment and revelry. As our, uh, our heroes took in some of the sights of the festival, the fortune telling, the gymnastics display, and the umpa band with the trumpet slash kazoo wielding beholder, the culmination of events was the Bard of Gold, Talisson Starforge, hosting a speech about the current state of the continent and the successful year that's been had. As he spoke to the watchful audience, 
The sky was illuminated by a bright light that was streaking across the nighttime sky, which took a low pass over the festival and loudly impacted in the east. As the night continued, and as festival goers wrote off the strange events, you all separately kept tabs on the senior representatives and dignitaries from across Zemmermere, mingling and schmoozing each other. Until a solo runner made their way to the important representatives, evacuated them out of the festival, and before you knew it, chaos broke out. Soldiers began turning on each other, panicked civilians began running from the festivities, and battle ensued. Through combat, you met as a group, and worked with your newly found comrades, dispatching these soldiers that seemed to turn on each other, and fighting off otherworldly intellect devourers. With some close shaves and overwhelming odds against you, Pikeman Terence, who Lucian had met at the entrance of the festival, beckoned you out of the festival in a cart that he had uh, procured. Heading north towards Traveller's Rest to regroup with other survivors and find sanctuary, you were all in the back of the cart. And in the back of that cart, mistrust and eventually rest found you all. Finn, Lucian and Archaximus uh, going to sleep. And as the burning embers of Wysel lit the night sky and the cart travelled into the north towards Traveller's Rest, you were hoping for eventual peace and safety. So, we pick up this session with sunlight beginning to beam into the car. You've got this kind of uh, closed netting car, like a proper traveling car, like that. Um, but with light kind of breaking through some of the kind of the canvas elements of it. And you're all starting to stir and, and come to your senses. So you know it's daylight, you know it's all, all coming around. And as you begin to wake, you hear shouting from Terence, who's still up front, controlling the car, driving forwards. And he's shouting ahead at someone. And you hear shouting back. No, I'm not bloody stopping! No, 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 no! I'm not gonna stop! No, no! And as he says all of this, the cart begins to pick up pace. You feel movement, lots of bumps in the road as the speed of the cart seems to pick up. You hear some shouting back at him and it's a mumble from where you are. And then it goes quiet, as you hear thunk thunk into the car. And as this happens, you feel it start to drift to the left a bit. And it goes off of the road. No, oh, not Terence. And it turns over. Oh, fuck. And you all, this is uh, Arc, Arc Maximus and Lucian and Finn, this is, of course. You all fall out of the car. Can I get you to just roll a dex save for me? No fear. Okay. Great. <clears throat> That's a six. It's an eleven for me. Six, eleven. Okay, you're, rolls all around me. You're fine. Do I have time to light a cigarette? You have time to light a cigarette. <laughs> Get my tinderbox out. Four points of damage. Oh, okay. As, so four points of damage for you, Finn. Uh, we'll say that uh, Arch Maximus is dexterous, so he's fine. Um, as the car overturns and you all go flying into the ground inside the car still. What do you want to do? <coughs> Once I've um, used my tinderbox to light a cigarette, bring myself to my feet. Mm -hmm. uh, sort of, not check to see if anyone's okay, but give them a nod and make sure no one's too, um, too beaten up. And then yeah, I'll make my way uh, out the back of the car. Okay. Uh, not fully, just peer around. You staying in cover? Yep. Trying to be sneaky? Uh, yeah. Roll us a stealth check. Go up. No, no, no. Wow, I've just realised I've got so many sets of dice and none of them are complete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stealth check? Yeah. Lucky. Uh, 14. As you start to move out, <clears throat> you instantly hear, Hey, you stop where you fucking are! I'm gonna fucking shoot you! Like your pal up front! To me? Yeah. You know it's been aimed at you, you can, yeah. I walk out, hands up in the sky, um, and then like, 
with my eye, where well, I actually just point to the cigarette. Take it out. Uh, <laughs> no sudden movements, eh? It's fine, it's fine. Uh, it's not fucking fine! Your mate just started fucking run over our blockade! Is a uh, blockade? Yeah! And as you look, if you want to roll a perception check. Um. 19. So, where you are currently, uh, you are in a kind of deep gorge okay. ravine. And the road to, you know, Traveller's Rest to the north, you know, passes through this gorge kind of deep element. And uh, up ahead, there is just a series of carts that have been put onto their, their sides instead of being facing the road. They're kind of horizontal to the road, so blocking it, barricades, wooden blocks, all sorts of stuff. And you see three uh, soldiers, or you assume they're soldiers, crossbows at the ready, just pointing at you, locked and loaded. Okay, what is our reason for blockade? We're trying to get through and no one told us there'd be any uh, distractions. Uh, <laughs> We're just trying to make our way through and now you're holding us up. It's really I, inconvenient I, for me. You you came from that way. You know what was going on there, didn't you? Oh, huh? yes. Huh? Yeah. So I think there'd be a little bit more uh, sympathy of people trying to escape unless this hey. is... Shut your fucking mouth, all right? How many are you in there? How many are you in there? There's a few. Get them out. They don't really answer me. I don't met them last night. They might want to fucking answer you. Takes a drag of a cigarette. Fires a bolt at your feet. <laughs> I'm not fucking about, pal. I wouldn't do that again if I was you. <sighs> Can I say? Right, well, fucking just get your men out of there. All right, we already killed one of you. And he sort of puts his hand out to placate him and be like, just take it easy. One second. <laughs> Goes back into the uh, thing. Uh, has a look to see who's the most awake. Uh, I, I imagine you probably are all awake after me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the car had like overturned somewhat, so yeah, yeah. like a little bit. Who's in? <laughs> yeah. What <laughs> machined? Yeah. Maybe not. Who's the most awake? But who's the least banged up? Uh, I'm going to assume it's. Yeah. The player, that's it. Yeah, uh, we'll go with yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, there's a blockade. Um, guys asking us to get out. I think they might jump us. So be prepared to fight, you know. Um, do you mean like, like the highway, man? They look uh, like uh, ne'er do wells to me. Oh, right, okay. So. Battle plan. Um, you we can kill them. I mean, we, you know, I suppose if they've if they've drawn blood, we should probably kill them. They shoot my feet, but I don't think they're good shot because uh, there's no arrow in my feet. That's an excellent point. Hmm. Wow. Um, but yeah, so we could like split up. Uh, you could swing right wide, and then uh, I can get Terence, and me and him can go the other way, and then. Oh, I, uh, well, I didn't see Terence, but the fact that the card is on its side probably means he uh, had a fall. <laughs> Excuse me, I took too much drag on my cigarette. I haven't had any breakfast today. Is there a correlation between those two things? Yeah, it lines my stomach and it just makes it easier for me to inhale the tobacco. Ah, oh, I don't smoke, so. But, okay. Maybe Maybe you're not fucking hurry up. Look, we don't need you any trouble, but... This, this area is not fucking safe. Just oh oh well, it's okay. Maybe not, oh. but uh, be prepared. Um, I didn't realize you were trying to help. I thought you were trying to rob us. Um. <laughs> Look, just just come out of the fucking car. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, come on, um, uh, Ar Arky, uh, and then Arky. Just come, <laughs> come out with a. It's cannon now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come out with my hands up. Um, I don't think you need to do that. Oh, really? No? Yeah, I have my nap, but Oh, okay. Um, hi. Fucking put your hands up! Oh, wait. Please! Oh, okay, oh, maybe just, look, it's just mistake. Everyone's a bit fucking nervous after what happened at the festival, okay? We were sent here to help assist the evacuate with the fucking 
big wigs from Zagate, but they barreled through here and we've been helping people trying to leave. And so now This is opposite of evacuation. No, no, and then we've been told to fucking not let anyone else out of the area. So now that I'm <laughs> out of the car, do they, do they have like any like armor on or insignias or anything like that? I'm glad you asked. So in front of you, uh, on top of this kind of barricade of various carts and barrels and just wooden, like just all sorts of just mess of stuff they've used to barricade the entire road, mm -hmm. you see, uh, both roll a perception check for me. I love rolling perception checks. <laughs> it's just great. <laughs> Nat 20. Nat 20. Oh yeah. Um, take a picture, take a picture. Take a picture, baby! That's five. Five, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well... I'm quite awake, yeah. <laughs> My perception well, is so bad. Oh, for you, <clears throat> for Finn, uh, in this case, you see three beret wearing Ooh. Uh, men, mm -hmm. uh, two men, yeah. one halfling, okay. on top of the barricade, crossbows at the ready, in various leather armour. Mm -hmm. For you, Lucian, you have a bit more detail than this, of course. So, uh, yeah, again, you see three of them. One's a halfling, the other are two humans, um, donned in very hard leather armour, covered in all sorts of straps and buckles with tons of different armaments, knives, bows, crossbows at the ready, and some, with that natural 20, what you see as dynamite as Ooh. well, and explosives, both wearing an eye patch. With your natural 20, you see that the halfling, the one who's been doing the bulk of the talking so okay. far, uh, has an eye patch on one eye as well. Uh, and he has on his arm a patch with a golden insignia on it. And that's what differentiates him from the other two who don't have that golden insignia. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming I wouldn't recognise what that is. Uh, roll a history check for me. Okay. Um, as I'm stood there with my hands up, <coughs> um, can I just have a quick glance around um, to, to make sure that Terence is okay? Because you know, he might have fallen off. Yeah, no, he's uh, lying dead next to the car. He's been bolted. Fuck. Yeah. Is he like... <clears throat> Sorry, I get a little bit emotional. Of course, uh, understand. Is he, <laughs> is he like dead, dead? Can I tell from this distance? Or is he like, quote unquote, rolling death saves? Or is he... You're about 10 feet from him, so... Roll a medicine check. I'm great at these. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's actually not bad. That's 18. He has a bolt through his forehead. So oh. Yeah, he's he's not moving. He's Twitching a, a bit, maybe? No, 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 no movement. <laughs> I got a 17 on history. For that, yeah, you would know that this golden insignia, their armaments, the fact that they've mentioned they've gone to go and protect some of the Zrage kind of um, dignitaries. These are some special forces fuckers. These are, uh, yeah, they're, they're special forces from Zrage. They're kind of a bit of a shady organisation, but part of the military and they kind of do some of the heavy lifting and dirty work behind the scenes. Cool. <coughs> so yeah, they're currently <coughs> crossbows, still trained on you, but they're trying to explain themselves a little bit. Okay, well, um, what do you want to know from now? Well, why don't you come over towards Barricade? I don't know why I've gone northern now. <laughs> and, um, uh, why do you kill um, He He didn't yeah. fucking stop! He just kept riding at us! This is his first day on the job. Oh, well, it's last as well, isn't it? Oh, uh, I mean, he's a good man. He's got a family of five. Yeah, have you got, like, a healer with you that can no, help him? No, we don't do healing! You know, we do killing. Just killing, yeah. yeah. Do you? No. no. Do killing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he tried to fucking push past us. We did what we've been told to do. Oh, all right? Jesus. No. This whole area is fucked. We're hearing all sorts of different reports. We're not letting anyone pass without at least some kind of questioning. Okay, so, well, what do you question. know? Huh? What to What do I know? Yeah. What happened? We had, we were at the festival and uh, 
meteor come strike somewhere that way. Dead body. And people got possessed. Possessed? Mm, oh, yeah. yeah. That's not what we've heard. We just heard, yeah. we just heard so far that them lot from fucking Threspole were turning on our boys. Um, I put my hands down. What? What are you doing? <clears throat> Sorry, can I put my hands down? Can I put so my do hands what? down and smoke cigarette? No. It uh, burned on my fingers. <laughs> then drop it. <laughs> He's got you there. You don't have to fucking hold it if it's burning your fingers. I said I owe you. What? I mean, <laughs> send that out, oh, yeah, burn my fingers, cigarette costs money, you know I my money because you will let me smoke cigarette. I don't know your shit, pal. I send What are you saying? You uh, seem like you're talking logic. I don't know what he's on. <laughs> I mean, What's I, in them cigarettes, pal? It's just, you know, He just kind of talks like, I just need to put my arms down because I'm very physically weak. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it as well, huh? Strong gust of wind, I'm gone. <laughs> right, look. So you're telling me. People were getting possessed. Yeah, so <clears throat> as my astute but very menacing colleague just said, um, big thing came flying over, uh, people went to investigate, some time passed, and then um, they came back and were like, brrrr, to the checks, notes, uh, council of seven, um, and, and then they all scarpered and then that's when everybody, yeah, almost like a possession type thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely people that know, were known themselves and that in, in ways that were very unnatural. Oh, but then, but then, um, like dog brains uh, start, uh, started attacking as yeah, well. What dog brains? I haven't seen anything You're like that. You're taking a piss? No, no, like no. brain. We didn't know what they were called though, did we? It was only Arc... Arc Axinus. Arc Axinus. Arky. Yeah, where... He's I'm keeping quiet, did I? I slipped him a little something, so... <laughs> Have him sleep. Um, <laughs> well, that is troubling. Well, it would ring true with what some of these are saying. It would ring true with what the prisoner's saying as well, eh? Well, lads, yeah. This one over here has been saying similar things. What about dog brains? No. Ah. Oh. No. But the, the people... You know, people were getting possessed on that. Oh, um, sorry. Wait, I mean, look, we've, we've, we're having a little bit of a to and fro here. What was your name, sir? Well, my so name? fucking cute. <laughs> <clears throat> my name's uh, Commander Lovinor. Oh, really? You're Lovinor? Not the fuck. Lovinor. <laughs> Lovinor. Uh, I'm Commander Lovinor. This is uh, Operator John on his right. Operator Caleb, on my left. And yeah, we got sent in. We we heard about the attack and we were sent in to try and help get some of the uh, some of the dignitaries out. But by the time we arrived, we had to <coughs> bump here to uh, Golden Pass and then down here we went on horse. By the time we got here, it was just civilians and all sorts trying to escape. That's where we found uh, our prisoner here. Who, uh, He's been saying similar stuff about people getting possessed and stuff. But it's all from the survivors. They've been saying it. We can't validate any of it. Oh, well, I mean, you so, know... So far, all we're aware of is that various armies and soldiers from different cities were turning on each other. So this is yeah. being treated as a, a an attack, but not necessarily from... What did you call them? Uh, uh, dog brains. Dog brains. Dog brains. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's... It's like... It's like have you ever seen a brain before? Oh yeah, I yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking so pull one out. Fucking. I mean, you could probably oh, wow. see this yeah. guy's brain right here with the way yeah, he did on, on his forehead. I don't know. Look, I feel a bit. I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad about it. Well, it's not you who took shot, probably. Yeah. Very um, good shot. <clears throat> not bad. Well, I mean, so other than like saying that. Um, uh, other than saying the same thing as us as your prisoner, is there any other reason why they were a prisoner? Because then you've got two different groups of people that are saying the same thing. Am I nearby? Can I hear all this? Yeah. So there. So from where you are, you can't see over the barricade. You see the backs of the soldiers. You're just kind of not very loosely bound, but you're not like <clears throat> being poorly treated. I was wondering the same thing myself. Hey. Oh, who's this guy? <laughs> uh, guy? How oh, rude. Look, 
Right. Yeah, some some guys can have like a higher set <laughs> voice. You know, it's... I'm clearly a woman. I mean, we can't. We can't. We, you're just a disembodied voice at the moment. Yeah, you're going to have to speak up. I can't hear you all that, that well. That's a very good point. You can't see me. Can I? Why am I bound? Look, we, we, we're we getting lots of mixed messages here from lots of different parties. We're just acting in the way we act by killing things. Would you let us through? We don't know if our uh, time's safe anymore. And... <laughs> roll, a, roll a persuasion check, both of you. <laughs> With advantage, because I like you. I'm Please. cocked. Coco Van. I will. Just roll it again. Oh. Is it, uh, advantage, sorry, yeah. Advantage. Oh, nice. Two. Both of both. Yeah, fuck oh, it. Fucking hell. Advantage um, for both of you. <laughs> Oh, that's much better. Uh, that is a 26. It's a 14 for me. That's actually I... my fucking thing. Fine. You know what? Looking at little spaghetti arms there, you don't see much of a hassle, so come through. Oh, but get your things out of your car. We've, we've got more of it. Any of you boys have a um, cigarette? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, Jones I, I do. <laughs> Yeah, don't come over here, we'll, we'll sort it out. Um, Let's discuss what happened. John, Caleb, you stay watch. If fucking anything else comes, you fucking tell us. Yeah, come on through. So I feel they, bad about um, that guy. He'll be fine. Yeah. So as we approach, <clears throat> I have my dread helm under my arm. Um, I don't have my cloak on. Um, and uh, yeah, no visible weapon on me. So hopefully I seem fairly uh, innocuous. And as you as you approach the like barricade with this, like they they kind of yeah come through and they try and they help you up over it because there's no like doors or gates. It's literally <coughs> just this like mess of shit that's been piled up to block mm. the road. So they help you up, give you a hand up. And as you step over the top of the barricade on the other side of the barricade, you see. Tim, your character, if you could describe your character, give us a brief overview of who they are. Um, so, you see before you a very quintessential wood elf. Got the leather armour underneath with a cloak that is made from very elven materials like leaves and other things like that. It goes down to her uh, back. She doesn't have a bow on her yet because she's been arrested. Um, <laughs> coppery skin, uh, kind of very piercing uh, green eyes uh, with kind of nice, very striking facial features, very high cheekbones, very traditional elf looking person. Um, yeah, very composed, very calm, even though she is in a bit of a bind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Hey, uh, and she fucking loves it. Sorry. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we are we arrested. Uh, well, we detained. I we don't really do that. None of it's by the book, really. But we've got this one that's saying, "What are you doing around here again?" I mean, I'm just happy you didn't put an arrow through my forehead. My voice has gone very strange. I'm just happy you didn't put an arrow through my forehead. Well, I mean. To be fair, you weren't trying to fucking ram our barricade with a car, no, so... I wasn't at all, I was trying to figure out where the fuck I am, you know? Mm. Well, you said you were helping people get out, weren't you? Yes, I've been around these parts for a while now, just helping refugees get across and sort their lives out, and I thought that was all tickety-boo, but... Apparently I'm being arrested for something. I don't... Can you please but explain? You were helping people get past, and we were trying to stop people getting past, so you were a problem. But, now that, you know, these are saying they've got their shit going on as well, maybe... I don't know, we're very confused. I'm also quite confused, I must say. Were you at the festival? Uh, I was on my way there with right. these people. But you lot were. Yeah, we were the yeah, just bystanders. Um, who the fuck are you? My name is uh, Lucian L U C I E N. Right. Uh, do you want to describe you, your character? To you yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. So, are you, are you are you okay? You're intoxicated, or what's happened to you? No, it's just uh, I've just been five <laughs> minutes without a cigarette, you know. 
stress levels. Oh, I see you're French. Ah, okay. <laughs> All makes sense now. Uh, I don't know what <laughs> French is, but, um, you know. So, uh, what you see is, uh, is a tall-ish human, humanoid, super pale skin. Actually, to the point where it's just like a very pale white grey colour. Uh, bright white hair, right down to the middle of his back, with two braids meeting in the middle to form a plait uh, down there. Uh, very generic looking clothes, like um, leather-ish leather cloth trousers. trousers. Um, and just a normal, like, uh, your classic, like, long sleeve, but with, like, a tie, uh, sort of Henley-type t-shirt. Uh, yeah, so, in terms of adventurers, quite unremarkable looking, but, um, yeah, not quite human, not quite elf in looks. <coughs> oh, with a cigarette hanging out his mouth. The most important. The most important, yeah. but his, his <laughs> characteristic. Uh... I mean, I'd say it's a pleasure, but I'm currently bound, so... Uh, it's John. okay, we'll get you out of those cuffs and we'll shut hand later. Oh, we're getting out of these cuffs, are we? Uh, I, yeah, I mean, at this point, I don't know. What yeah, is the John, charge? Can you, John, can you go and fucking sort out her veins and one of the operators... Uh, yes, comes down, do that. ...pulls out his dagger and just... just oh. bad. Thank you, command. Hey, I'm uh, trying to just fucking figure out what's going on, really. And, uh, uh, thank you so much. I I didn't mean to cause any issues before. I just. Hey, what you all have to realise is that all of the various factions are very on edge right now after what happened at the festival. All right, we've been sent here on behalf of Zrage to try and figure out what's going on. So you know, just bear with us all, all right? I'm so sorry, but. I I saw people running away and, and, and uh, fleeing whatever was going on at uh, Wissau, but like, Wissau? Wissau? Wissau. Wissau. But um, what what did happen? I, I don't quite know. Well, we didn't we didn't make it to the festival either. Because oh? We were trying to, we were heading there and then we didn't make it. But you lot were, so you're our only real eyewitnesses to what went on. I think we're getting painted a pretty good picture of what happened, so if you want any more detail, feel free to ask, because it's still got fresh in my memory. No, don't forget a good fight too quickly. Oh man, it's so perfect. Yeah, You're <laughs> um, yeah it was great. Uh, you also, I can't, you know, if you ever do get a chance to see them, I don't know if everything's going on, but the travelling telltales, great. Wonderful stuff. Oh, uh, what, what's that? Um, that was the was that the was the, the drum the amdrams yes yeah. oh I oh. love a bit of amdram don't you yeah <laughs> um, did you want to describe your character to... oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so uh, a mop of messy ginger hair green eyes. Uh, Skin of a man that's maybe barely twenty. Oh, acne, Philip. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, clear skin, thank you very much. <laughs> um, and then uh, breastplate armor of silver and gold trim, uh, and then some dark leathers. There is like a, 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 a brown leather overcoat, kind of cloak thing, but it's kind of somewhat swashed to the side because of <clears throat> falling over. Uh, no visible weapons on him, uh, and then a uh, just a, a helmet underneath his arm with big pointy wingtips and some goggles around his neck. I, I must say, I'm a fan of your helmet. Oh, thank you. Um, it takes a big drag on my cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> people don't tend to take you too seriously when you look like this, so... Um, what do you mean? Oh, just, you know, I'm a little bit on the younger side, I'm aware of that, but hey, you got to start sometime being a heroic hero. Exactly. exactly. Am I right, Lucia? <coughs> <laughs> hey, you're right, pal. He's really getting <laughs> that so method with you the, fucking with the up, is it? I think I must have got different um, tobacco, what you guys are using. <laughs> Um, what are these fucking methods? 
Uh, yes, uh, being a hero, great, uh, great time, especially if you make a bit of money out of it. So. Or if you're, you know, just trying to do good. Yes, doing good is, is, is in fact... Yes, you're nice. right, if you do a good job, then you get good money. Still working out the kinks in the partnership. Right, yes, I mean, I can see. But... Or in the, the troop ship. Isn't that right, Arky? He's still a bit sleepy. Yeah, I can see, he's obviously... Yes, he needs his morning coffee. You know. Don't we all? And a croissant. Mm. I don't know. Stop! I'm a croissant! <laughs> Character's name yet? No, I haven't said what my character's name. Oh, yet, um, I, we, we told you our, 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 our um, you know, personality and uh, what the word. Uh, our names. <laughs> our names. Yeah, I was thinking of something else. Um, I'm bored of this conversation. <laughs> what was somewhere. your name? Uh, it's Miss Darlington, or you know, Nala. Ah, yes, yeah, Nala. Nala Darlington. Yeah, that's me. It's a lot of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're not that close just yet. Uh, sorry, remind me of your name again. It's Lucian. Lucian. Uh, buy me dinner first, at least. <laughs> you should be so lucky. But not <laughs> right. So, Commander. Um, uh, so, okay, so. Uh, some weird thing flies over. Um, then things start to happen. Is it a coincidence? Could be, but it's our only lead. So, what are we going to do? What's the plan of action for the will well, of good? Well, so far you're the only people that we've been able to talk to that have just been running and screaming messes in fucking civilians. So, you're our only real leads on what's happening now. Help me on the you know. So you're kind of important. <coughs> I'm really sorry to interrupt. Um, did you mention a light? Hmm? A light came over the wherever you were. Oh, yeah, something like that. What? Isn't it? what? Yeah, a big light looked like a shooting star. What? What color was it? Mm, let me scar story? my brain. Did you read my backstory, by the way? Yeah, it's five heaven. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think there was a specific color to it. It was just like something flew over. We didn't really mm. see specifically what it was. Yeah, you rolled dog shit on your perception. Yeah. It was. Oh, okay. No more light color. That's fine. Uh, don't worry about that. Anyway. Cool. That's great. Mm. Um, okay, so it landed kind of east from uh, Wasteful. That's you, right. You see the. Um, the commander's writing some of this down as you're saying it. Oh, like little... team meeting notes. Excellent idea. Um, okay, so uh, if we. Well, you're, our, you're our only eyewitnesses to what happened, so we're. Okay, so you're Did staying you kill here. the other ones? Hmm? You're going to stay here on the barricade, and then we're, as, as heroes, going to go and check this out. Absolutely not. We're taking you back to Zragate. Oh. You're going to. You're going to testify what happened so that you can try and stop some of this, what is inevitably going to turn into a shitstorm between the various cities if we don't get your back safely. That's true, it could be a disease. I don't I fucking know that. what it is, but if if nobody says what it is, then they're just going to fucking tear lumps of shit out of each other well, in these cities. The, uh, the Council of the Seven. They were told about this and then they left. Can't you just get a hold yeah, of it? They didn't fucking know what was going on either. Look, uh, we're going to take you with us, all right? We're going to get you to fucking Zragate. I don't really care what your plans were before you're coming with us. Whether you like it or not. It's at this point. Oh, God. He's uh, on the other side of the barricade with all of you, mm. kind of in a circle talking, and these two men are on the top of the barricade. And then suddenly... fog cloud just appears in the middle of all of you and your vision is completely obscured. Who fired? <laughs> hey, uh, have you, can you boys see anything that's going up there? Uh, you I see go, no, I've got there. nothing. <laughs> Eyes on nothing up here. <coughs> and then you hear <laughs> and you see through all of this uh, fog splinters hitting across you all. Can I get you all to roll dex Dirty saving throws. Oh my this go well. God damn it. It's the same as the last dexterity saving throw. Six. 
I got 13. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> natural 20. Natural 20! Bye bye! Thank you for the golf clap. Welcome to the. Uh, Welcome. Leaderboard. Scoreboard. Yeah, here it come, all right. <laughs> um, for those of you, so for you two, uh, <laughs> oh, well, let me just roll me, Arc Aximus as well. Oh, yeah. His uh, dexterity modifier is minus one. Uh, he's actually fine though, because that's 15. Uh, what did you roll? I got a 13. 13, Nathan? Six. So yeah, for you two, you take three points of damage as splinters and all sorts of detritus from something that's just exploded fly in your direction. Darla, you're absolutely fine. Oh, Arc Axis is fine. Um, and you just hear, ah, oh, fuck! And it's the soldiers up top. Can I get you to all roll initiative? Oh, oh. Caleb. Caleb and John. No. <clears throat> you need to stop killing the guards. <laughs> <laughs> They've got Nothing. lives too. They're expendable. Guard lives matter. And none of his henchmen have names as well. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> right. Okay. Uh, who'd like to run Arcaximus? Or shall I? <clears throat> shall I run him? Oh, I've got him up. You got him up? Yeah, he's kinky. <laughs> Um, I will roll the black and white dice. No, do you know what? I'll roll these Ooh. game tea dice. <laughs> Old Arky. <laughs> Kettle's bored then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he has advantage. Much better. Much better. Shut up, bag of chips. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's happening. Mm. Fucking yes. Yes. Hit him. Yeah. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Okay, what we got then, guys? What did you roll? Uh, Twenty-five to twenty. Ah. Fifty to twenty. Really? <laughs> Ten to fifty. Got eleven. Eleven. Arc Aximus got 14. Okay. Lovely. Is it 5 to 10? 8. Oh, 9 for me. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, oh shit. shit. That's all you had to say. Alright, let me my roll for shit. these boars. Oof, they did not do uh, so good. It's fine, everybody. We've got this. You I've just need to mana. believe in the heart of the cards. Grandpa! It's time to... Do your move. Your move. You, 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 you. General. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> you won't get away this time. What a doctor! Uh. So, at the top of initiative, we have our unarmed or unknown assailants. Could I? Uh, hold on, let me just go ahead and roll. Could I? Uh, what is your uh, AC, uh, Lucian? That is fourteen. 14. So. Oh, he did. You just hear a. <laughs> as another boulder rock oh, wow. flies through the air and smacks you in the face. Fuck! Oh. Don't do this to him again. <laughs> I'm getting PTSD. Just gonna roll <laughs> some damage. Oh. Okay. God. Oh my god. god. They're rolling shit. That's 18 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. <laughs> as a boulder. Sorry, 18? Yes. Smacks you. <laughs> and for Arc Aximus, who stood next to you, he just hears this. 
<laughs> as this just fucking boulder just <laughs> whoops you on and knocks you back to prone. But you are out of the fog cloud. Okay. So you do have visibility again. Next up. Question for the DM. Far away. Does the fog cloud, which is heavily obscured, uh, give them disadvantage on their attack rolls against us? Whatever they are. No. Son of an arse. Yep. That's fine. Just wanted to check. Yeah. But these guys will have disadvantage. So... No, no, it's just the one guy. No. Oh. It's that one guy. Oh, God. Uh, Pirate it. Dad. Stop. Does a... Does a... Eight hit you, Finn. <laughs> no siree. Okay, I'll need to do disadvantage. Does a 12 hit you? No way, Jose. That's good to hear. <laughs> as you hear, <laughs> as what you imagine are two arrows have just passed your head. What was that? He's <laughs> throwing stones. <laughs> Alright, next up uh, is actually Arcaximus. So, what is Arcaximus going to do? Mr. That Point? is an excellent question. I don't really know what he can or can't do. However, what I will tell you is he will um, step out of the fog. Mm -hmm. can, he, can he just like, because this side's closest to him, it, it have the most light. So, he just steps out yep. of that. So, that's 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, can he see his assailants? Roll a perception track for me! Come on, gamer T die. Oh wow. Uh, perception? Yes. 19. With a 19, Arcaxilus <coughs> looks up and sees this boy. What the me. fuck? Who's that, eh? Stood at the top of this gorge, looking down at him. And as he makes eye contact, this thing at the top of the gorge just goes, <laughs> is it too <laughs> is it too late for Arcaximus to not see that thing? Um, he doesn't want to look at it. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see it now. <laughs> um, what we've seen could have been see it. What's the uh, just based on a perception check? What's the distance between Arcaximus and that creature? Uh, Jesus! How did I manage that? There you go, thank you, sir. It's all right. Uh, Probably say about 100 foot up, because it's up Ooh. in the oh, is that um, terrain levels of it. Yeah, yeah oh. we'll say that this is all about 50 foot up, so 50 foot and then across, so diagonal. Diagonally. Actually, no, yeah. I guess, would it be 50 foot line of sight? Um, maths. Who yeah. knows? Roughly. Um, it's 50 foot away and then up 50 foot. Okay, that's fine. Trigonometry. I don't know. Um, Math. So, pi. Science. <laughs> Knew I should have listened. What's that thing? Pythagoras theorem. Circumference. So, I know that you're. Cow, it's not at the round table, too. <laughs> I know that you're maybe hurting. Yeah. Um, but Arc Aximus, I don't think, is the person that really cares for that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, so, he is going to cast Moonbeam. Which is 120 feet. So that will get him, yeah. <clears throat> on the on the dude. <coughs> is there an attack? Uh, it's not an attack. It is a Constitution saving throw from him. Oh. He's a big boy, so he'll probably be good. Okay. All right. Now I need to beat 14. It's a natural 20 on the die. Oh. oh plus 10. Uh, okay. But he still takes half damage. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Hit him. Um, so that is going to be nice. Okay, it takes six points of radiant damage. Nice. As the heavens open up above him and crumple down on his grey skin. Ooh. Ooh. That's a nice. slur. That's definitely a slur. Um, and you see him kind of just take it to the shoulder but then just still just like reposture, just ready now. And these trees are here, correct? Yes, yeah. Uh, Arc Aximus, I suppose, will move. Uh, try to 
break line of sight by hiding behind one of the issues. Quotation mark, hiding. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. <coughs> Anything else for you? Um, that is it. He doesn't have much that he can do with his bonus action. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Nice. Uh, Lucien. Um, yeah, I want to try and uh, get to my feet. Yeah, yeah. So that's use half your movement to get up from prone. Yep. Yep. Cool. Um, and then I guess this being the nearest tree. Yeah. I want to try and take some cover. I think that's about as far as I can go. Yeah. Oh, if we move it there, so it's in the gorge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. So half cover, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna. Uh, Uh, yeah, I'm just going to drink my potion of greater healing. Cool, nice. How many points do you get back? I get... 44 plus. It was weird bringing more than one set of dice to a game. He's wondering why you bring more than one set of dice to a game. 4, 6, 10, 11, 15. Nice, almost brings you back. Does that bring yeah. all of it? Uh, down by one. Down by one. Um, okay. Hit him. You would have had uh, your reaction just saying, I don't know if you have a candy dodge. I fucking do! Oh, what, on the attack? So on the previous one, <clears throat> if he wanted yeah. to, he could, could have uncanny dodged it. Yeah, no worries. But you do also Still have... getting used to rogue. That's cool, and you've also still got a bonus action. If you I wanted do. To... a rogue, so... That's uh, good good to be had there. Oh, um, fully hide. Fully hide. Nice. Roll a stealth, stealth, stealth check for me. <laughs> Roll a stealth check. <laughs> Roll, <laughs> stealth Roll check. a stealth infection check. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, day 20. Day 20. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, cool. Yep, yeah, lovely. You are. <coughs> you believe you are hidden. Okay. It's nice to say it when you're not the rogue. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> solid snake, 180 spin into a crouch <laughs> behind a tree. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh, uh Cool. Is that you? That's, that's your that's action. Me done. Yep. Yeah. Darla, Narlington. What's up, Hit him with no. the good good. You're currently in a fog cloud. You can't see shit. Okay. Uh, I'm a. What you going do? Hmm, I'm trying to move. What can? Can I not see? Sh no. Can not see shit. You can't see anything. Okay. I will just attempt to move forward out of the. Cool. Fog cloud. And you do, and you can now see everything you saw before behind you is this just area of just complete grey blankness behind and you. Can I see anything, any people who are doing stuff? Roll a perception check for me! Yes, sir. Do, 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 do. So that giant there is, like, where it is, is on top of the gorge, right? Yeah. Yeah. 50 feet out. Cool. Oh wow. <coughs> um, that is many. Um, uh, 20, 25. 25, okay. With that roll, not only do you look up and see, big boy, you also see on a slightly lower area, about 25 feet up, two little gobbos. Oh hello. With their short bows at the ready. Okay, I'm a swivel. Swivel. Head on the swivel. Um, and then <coughs> fire at the closest gobbleroony. Hit him with me bow. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of bow action. Bow and arrow, baby. Um. <coughs> yeah. So that's roll to hit on that. Hit him. That is a twenty-six oh, to hit. That hit. <laughs> Eat shit, goblin. <laughs> shit, goblin. Uh, okay. And then I am also gonna. Mm, the goblins have a lot of health. I can't remember. That's been that game. Um, I'm just gonna roll to the damage. So that is four, uh, ten points of um, piercing damage. How the fuck do you want to do this? Oh, did. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. you remember in Lord of the Rings where they're running away in Moria mm. and like. Like it just shots off an arrow and it goes straight through the head of a, of a gobbo that's chasing them. Yeah. Like that, please. Nice. <laughs> and as you do it, this one just head sinks backwards and it just tumbles down this 25 feet. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. 
probably making it even more mullered and mushed by the time it ends up at your feet. Amazing, fantastic. Dude. Uh, would I be able to, if it's at my feet, as part of my action, just slink the arrow out of his head and then use it again? Or is yeah, that's flavour. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fucking flavour. That shit's hot. And then, right. yeah, and then attack. Oh, no way. As has. And then, yeah, fire at this guy again. Go for it. Oh, okay. What you got? It's a natural one. <laughs> the gods <laughs> give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just it just goes super wide. Cool. Hits um, the rock behind it. <laughs> I'm gonna. It just screeches at you. <laughs> I'm gonna just hide behind this tree then. Uh, I can't actually. Action. Can't actually hide it. That's cool. Uh, no, that's fine. But I'm just being there really behind her for cover, yeah. 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 Stunning. All right. Anything else for you, Darla? Uh, no, I don't really have a lot of bonus actions as a range jar. Cool. So, um, crack on. Not a problem. Ah, uh, Finn. Hit him with the good. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The, the, uh, <coughs> the soldiers roll shit. Yeah. Apparently so. Um, <coughs> well, the nearest. Uh, Exit point, or I suppose where the light is coming through the strongest is just behind me, so I'll back up the schmeech. Eh. Um, <clears throat> uh, and then if I come out of there, would you like me to roll a perception check to see if I also see these creatures? Because yes. everybody has seen it. Yes. Whilst they've been in the cloud. Yes, 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 yes. If you don't do it this time round, we'll say on the next go. Comes see if you can do it this time. Well, perception is great for me. Nine. Ooh, you're not a perceptive boy. <laughs> nope. Yeah. What's happened? <laughs> What's happened? Yeah. Where are they? We'll say with a nine, you can clock this one because it's on a much lower ledge. Sure. But even with <clears throat> the bellowing roar and boulders flying from it, somehow you've not. It's fine. There's a bit of glare from the sun. It's yeah. just behind it. Yeah, it's um, kind of silhouette. It's quite a cinematic. He's Michael Bay. Okay, yeah, yeah. so I step out. Um, uh, haven't got Levistus yet. Um, I just see the, the goblin. Ah, oh. okay. This is more. This is right. Brain dogs can't. That's too much. But this, I can deal with this. Um, and as it's still at a bit of a height. Mm. Um, I will use. Uh, how far away is it? Uh, you said 25 feet. 25 up. feet up, so we'll call it 30, 40 feet. 40 feet. Okay, I will not get into melee with it. Instead, I will do Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Hit him with the Eldritch Blast. Two shots against him. So the first one is. Uh, that's. Uh, do you know what? I'm gonna use luck. Okay, <laughs> go for it, baby. One better. Okay. Hell yeah, so dude. Two and a three. So <laughs> that's an eleven. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. Uh, twelve. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so the first I'm one. I'm so misses. sorry. Hanukkah's <laughs> the fun. That's better. Next one is a twenty. That will hit the boar. Lovely stuff. Great, cool, awesome. It's two <laughs> points and force damage. <laughs> As a, well, yeah, how, how's it? Uh, so the first one, because of the glare from the damn sun, goes wide over his head. Yeah. Uh, and then the second one, um, uh, kind of somewhat frustrated, I go to release it. Don't give it a full oomph. No. Nope. And it comes out more as like a, a little, so, quite a tough bit of smoke. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> It, and the goblin takes a little like that on its shoulder. Just look at my hand and go. Ah, it normally works. Uh, you just see the goblin go. <laughs> that yeah. Ah, <laughs> real mature. Uh, and uh, is it two two points of force damage? Yeah. Two points. Yeah. I don't have my uh, charisma modifier to these yet. It's a good baby. Uh, but I've only used five feet of movement, so I will because I've got mad range. I'll go five. 10, 15, 20. Oh, hi, Arky. 
and hide behind Archimus. Steal yourselves! <laughs> nice. He loves it. Alright! Lovely! So, next up is Commander Lovinor. Uh, hey, what the fuck is this fucking... Fuck, fuck. What are you boys? I can't see you anywhere. What the fuck's going on? As he's doing all this. Follow the sound of my voice. <laughs> do you do that? Do you say that? Sure. Yeah, he starts heading that direction, 5, 10, 15, 20. At that point, he can see out of the fog, so he'll make a little perception check. Uh, <coughs> yeah, so he clocks the big boy at the top of the ravine. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go for a crossbow shot at him. Natural one. Ooh. Then he gets a second attack, so as he's stumbling out, oh, fucking off, oh, what the fuck is that? Goes wide. Goes for another one. <laughs> another natural one. Oh, this oh, is going to go And right. goes wide again. As he's absolutely going to get that. He's absolutely fucking it up and flailing around. He's taken by surprise. Absolutely taken by surprise. So that's his uh, his uh, attacks. Come on, Commander, you've got this. Bonus action. He's not taking any damage yet. So yeah, that's him. Um, he's just going to move into cover behind this tree. Just kind of get out of the way a little bit. Uh, and the next up is his two soldiers on top. Now they've taken a bit of damage. I should. Uh, Roll that, shouldn't uh okay, we'll call that for them. They've taken twenty points of damage each. So they hurtin'. Uh, but they're gonna go ahead and make a perception check on him. Nope. One of them does. Hey. So one of them has no clue. He's just kind of looking around. This one, however has clocked the boy. So he jumps down there, goes for a little crossbow shot on him. Very nice. Okay, so he gets one hit on this yeah, guy you, here. You made that noise because it was a natural 20, right? Hmm? You made that noise because it was a natural 20. He's, he's, a, he's about to obliterate him. Nope. Yeah? Nope. Yeah, Straight through totally. the skull. <laughs> Six points of damage on this giant. Better than me, baby. Let's uh, go, John and Caleb. As it he's literally dying, head looking at us. sinks into its shoulder and it's just like <laughs> doesn't seem too phased by all that. That's fair. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. Um, and then yeah, the other one didn't see what's going on, so he's just gonna prepare himself for the next round. So at the top of the round. It's Giant Boy's turn. Oh, great. And he just lets out a massive... <gasps> as he jumps down into the mixer with you all. Fuck. Great. Off. He's going to roll a cheeky little dex check. And throw it off the side. What we got? Uh, it's, it's not in the... It's not in the roll tray. Again. We'll roll yeah. it again. We'll roll it again. Treat yourself. That's a natural 20, so he oh, lands. fuck me. He fucking, so this guy who's like 50 <laughs> foot up, earthquake. <laughs> 50 foot up, he's massive. He just, <coughs> and he just lifts off into the sky a little bit. And you think, oh, maybe he's going. And he just fucking superhero lands right in the middle of all of this. He's so arky, what we find? <laughs> <laughs> His landing causes the fog to dissipate from that area. Oh, great. And it just, it just expands out and just disappears into the, the distance there. And then from that, he's going to go ahead and he's going to go for a cheeky little greatsword attack on whoever's closest. Oh, this guy here, he just turns straight oh, to look at him. No. Is that John or Caleb? That's uh, John. Oh, God. So the fog John giant the jumps off the ravine, lands next to John. He retires next him. week. <laughs> Rolls dog shit, but it is still a 16 to hit. Uh, which is his AC, so he's going to go ahead and take oh. a whole lot of hurting. A whole lot of hurting. Six. Two. Fucking 
dice, you bastard! You lousy bastard. Do anything. Woo! Yeah, we're a bit, uh... 24. Takes 24 points of damage on John, <sighs> who's already hurting a fair fucking amount. He's still up though, yeah? And then he goes for a second attack. Oh. <laughs> no! <Yeah>. On John. <laughs> Just after <laughs> the first attack. You've got this, John! That shot. It's a natural 20. Oh, God, a... please! <laughs> Um, We're level five. <laughs> Please, for the love of God! <laughs> oh, five, two, seven, eleven. And it's with that, as the fog, this giant jumps down off the ravine, fog goes everywhere, he starts hounding and just <laughs> great sword attacking. John, he's just torn to fucking pieces. And as he goes for his second greatsword attack, just splits John in half. His top of his torso just flies to the side and hits the ravine wall as his legs collapse into a puddle of blood. He did. John! <laughs> John! <laughs> that is big boy's turn though. Uh, next up is the last remaining goblin. Ah, they're cannon fodder, great. Who's going to take a shot at uh, Udala? Bring a bit. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, what swish, we... swish, fish. Does a six hit? <laughs> that would be a negatory. So yeah, it just pings off a, a shot at you because you've been giving it some sticks. And uh, yeah, that's the goblin's turn. So at the top of the round for you guys is Arcaximus. Okay, so the damage that the uh, creature the big boy would have taken, would have happened at the start of his turn, so... Or from the moonbeam? Yeah, so that, the damage from that before six, would have been now. It? Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Nice, thank you. Um, he still has the beam still up, because he holds concentration right on there, it. Right there, right? Yeah. Um, so that was not perfect. <laughs> um, actions. Hammer of door. The hammer. Uh, so as long as it's up, he can use an action to move the beam 60 feet in any direction. Um, so yeah, we'll call that that be possible. But then, is he going to do more damage just hitting it? Is the question. These are the questions we've got. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I guess he would probably. Um, ignore Moonbeam, run up to within 10 feet mm -hmm. of this giant, mm -hmm. which is actually not too close to him, um, and he is going to make two attacks with his glaive. Glove. Hit him with the glove. And let's go for the big hits. First one is uh, 12. It's a hit. Yes. Uh, that will unfortunately miss. Yeah. Rolling doggo. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Much better. Much <laughs> better. Uh, 20, 23 on this one. That hits, <clears throat> baby. Okay. Uh, so, first of all, that is on the damage die. Uh, so it's pretty good. Uh, 11 points of damage. Lovely stuff. Um, and because he's quite a big boy, uh, he's going to drop a first level uh, raffle smite onto it as well, just to get a bit of extra damage to it. Do it, baby! Uh, which is D6, six points of psychic damage. Six points of psychic. Uh, and then it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Oh, uh, wisdom. That is fifteen. Uh, success. Success. Is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Close. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, and Arcaxmus is just right in there. He's uh, he's getting his his business on. Right in the th thick of it. Yeah. Into the, Get out of it. Of it. Into the thick of it. Oh. He's a little too high pitched for me to <laughs> do his voice, so. Steal yourself! <laughs> so that's what you do. Last that's, like, yeah. that's classic Arc Aximus. <laughs> classic Archie. 
<laughs> uh, cool. Uh, next up, uh, unless there's anything else from Arcaximus? No, action, bonus action, movement, yeah. All right, uh, next up is Lucian. Cool. Um, this um, figure here. Yes. Um, to the left of me. Yeah. What is it? Uh, that is the commander. Oh, okay. So he's cool. a halfling. Oh, okay, right. Um, okay, so I'm going to poke my head out uh, the uh, to, to my right side to try and have a look at this assailant. Oh, yeah, you see him stood there. He's just ripped one of the soldiers into two pieces with his great sword. So. Yay! You see the boar! Oh, my boy. Um, okay, in that case, I would like to... Um, fire away at him with my short bow. Fire away! And... Is Arcaximus nope. within five feet? No, because it's where you were range. hiding, weren't you? I am hiding. Yes, yeah. cool. So you would get advantage because you were hidden. And with advantage, may I use sneak attack? Yes, you would, yeah, yeah. Yep. Absolutely, so... Cool. Advantage, um, sneak, all that good, good. All the good, good. All that good, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's all like either yeah, yeah, one of your comrades good, is good, in good. five feet of it, or if you have advantage, either one of those. Let's <laughs> 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 um, So that's a 24 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay, so the <laughs> arrow mm-hmm. would be... The most rig. Oh, fucking hell. So that's a four to start. Oh, four points of damage to start, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then we will add on. Give me that snook. I, I don't think I've seen any more dice on the floor. <laughs> yeah, this play. is very odd. Yeah. Uh, that's an extra ten. Ten as well? Yeah. So total was fourteen? Uh, fourteen altogether. Yeah. Cool. And then I'll use my bonus action to find the nearest hiding place and dissipate into that. Roll me a uh, stealth check. Great. And these are from your bow, right? From marble. Yeah. So you just short bow. Yeah. Nice. I think that'll be yeah, twenty-two to hide. Yeah. You yeah. are as far as you feel. You're hidden. As far as you're aware. You okay. hope. You pray. You know, who knows? Maybe not. Okay. My sword will. Well, you know. <laughs> nice, cool. Alright then, uh, Dala, what are you right. going I'm gonna fucking shoot arrows at this big fucker. Shoot arrows at a bitch! Big fucker, in it? Alright, um, so, yeah. Just gonna get an arrow out, aim it at his big dumb head, and nice. just let it fly. <laughs> Fire away. <laughs> so the first one misses. Uh, is it, uh, say it. Second natural say one of the it. year. <laughs> say it. <laughs> I do get another attack. Oh, cool. So uh, let's go for it. Let's try again. Curses. That's much better. That is uh, twenty-six to hit. Yes, that most certainly will hit. And oh boy. when I hit him, I can use one of my favoured foes mm-hmm. to um, basically mark him. It's basically a hunter's mark, but a ranger kind of. Nice. Adaptation of that, so it's not a spell, it's just like a, a trait that I have. Um, nice. And I have to add an extra 1d4 of damage. Is that something that we need to track? Is like concentration based? It's concentration based, so if I lose concentration or a minute, you know, or a minute um, subsides, then it goes away. Okay, cool. Alright, that's in. Keep a track of it, you know what you're doing with it. <laughs> Put the markers down to help us. Is he getting them? He's getting them now, yeah, he's on it. He's a good boy. It's good, 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 good soup. <laughs> okay, so that is three, uh, nine, eleven points of damage. Nice, that boy. Nice. And does that put any other disadvantage on him, or is it just no, no, more of a thing for you? Just, every time I hit him, I get extra damage. Stunning. Nice. How does it uh, go down? Do you... Just an arrow. I want to sink it in his. Shoulder, um, if I can. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. He's now looking at you. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm going to move. Yeah. 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 Going to move behind here. 
that will say you've got to climb up and over. Oh, okay. So. Do you want me to make a yeah. check? Yes, if you could roll a athletics. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. I think cool, that would cool, cover cool. it. Cool, 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 cool. Athletics or acrobatics, whatever you want, if you want to have flair to it and one's better, then go uh, for it. Acrobatics works for me. Very well. Go for it. <laughs> What was it? That was an evil laugh there, man. <laughs> That's a seven. Seven? Oh, that wasn't that bad. That's oh, I thought it was a two. It's not oh. a complete. Okay, let's say you use half your speed. Yeah, yeah. Getting up. Yeah. Is it a penalty? Okay. All right, so then. you're on top of it now. I'm on top of it. What do you want to do? Uh, uh, can I jump down? I got Go for it. Rest? Roll a little dex check. Ah! And see if you roll your ankle on. Dex check, it's a straight dex. Uh, yeah. Where is it? 24. Yeah, you land fine. Superhero landing? Go for it, yeah. You saw him do it earlier, the giant, <laughs> so why not you do it? <sighs> nice! Rolls are very... I get 19s and 1s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Finn, you're up. Oh, hello! <clears throat> um, right, well now that this guy is closer, and um, we've got R key next to me. <laughs> I feel draw. I feel like me and him are a real, are a real duo act. Uh, so I'm gonna run up to his butt. Mm-hmm. Um, I said what? What? Not Arkies. The, the big man's. The big man. Mm, can't quite get flanking. So instead, I will just get into proximity with him. Be a silly idea because I'm still fairly squishy. <clears throat> squishy boy! Um, right, so first of all, gotta get the. gotta get this right. Hexblade's Curse! Ooh! Uh, yeah. uh, fuck him up. So as I summon out the Vistus, <laughs> some dark kind of um, fiery smoke reefs its way around this giant. Um, so that's nice. That's hot. Uh, and then I shall take my <laughs> two strikes, um, two strikes at it, Go for uh, it. and uh, let's hope for some good stuff. Hit him with the good, good. Okay, that is good. Uh, so that is a 26 to hit. That'll hit him. Oh, not a crit, but come on this time. Oh, that's not a crit either, but still, 18. Team. Not bad, not bad. Uh, right, okay, so with these, um, this eels. Uh, 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 so, one, two, ten. So, the first one, it's pretty good actually. Uh, that is. <laughs> Uh, that is, sorry, maths. Uh, first one is 17 points of slashing damage. <laughs> and the second one is 15 points of slashing damage. 15 and 17, did you say? So the yep. two. Jeez. Oh, damn. Uh, and then there. Who are they? Asa, asa. I will save my spell slots because I feel like I'm going to buy me later. Awesome. Um, gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gone. Uh, and that's it. Uh, uh, I just kind of like, with uh, the Vista slash into the back of its, um, right into its Achilles tendon, trying to bring it down a little bit. Kind of look back at Arky and be like, ah, ah, we're doing it. We've got him. He's on the ropes. <laughs> And you just hear this thing just as you're like wailing into its back, it's like, like that, but and it's starting to start turning its head at you, like, I'm not here, I'm not here. This motherfucker. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of shrink down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cool. Are you staying there? Uh, yeah, here go. Then attack on me if I move away. So, Ooh, baby. I feel like staying there is probably safest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For now. Um, okay, Hello. cool. Uh, that's you then. So up next, Commander Lovenor. 
Oh, is, right. is he still going, is he? Yeah, he's, he's absolutely fucked it so far. So he's, uh, hey, fucking hell, I'd like, let's fucking get involved. He runs up at it. He knocks over a tree as he does it. Knocked over a cold <laughs> hand. Look at the fucking tree. The trajectory of his accent is yeah. just yeah. incredible. It's, it's moving yeah. around. Uh, okay, it's caught around Britain. Uh, he is going <laughs> for his rapier. He's going to pull that out. He's going to go for some slashes on the schmore. Uh, that's going to hit. Uh, so he's going to take two attacks. Fucking more. Two. Yeah. So both of his attacks hit, both of his rapier attacks. So we'll do the first one. So first attack is 10 points of damage. Second one is 12 points. So 22 points of damage across both. As he runs in, he's like, I Oz, let's fucking have him! And he goes for two rapier splashes <laughs> at his legs. La, 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 la. <laughs> Just like scratches his shin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 22 <laughs> points of damage on him there. Damn. Uh, and then he's going to use his... You got this, this giant's nothing. Yeah. No, I'm about to clean up, mate. <laughs> he's going to back away from it, though. Ooh, 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 watch <laughs> out. Commander, no! He's just going to back up a bit, which will get a attack of opportunity. No! Oh, spaghetti -o. Uh That's a natural one on the uh, giant boys as he feels this little slashing happening around his ankles and he just, woof, he just goes wide trying to take out the commander as he backs up. So that's him. Next up is the last remaining uh, other special forces dude. He's going to turn around. Caleb. Caleb's like, no, no, John, no. <laughs> as he's going to go for. Is hey. he part of the Andra? <laughs> yes. Oh no, bugger! Oh dear! <laughs> He's got a lot of steam somehow. Goes, yeah. All that murder and stuff. All that stuff off the books. Uh, he's going to go for a, <laughs> a crossbow attack on this dude. He's got two of them. Uh, first one will hit with a 16. Just. And the other one will definitely hit. So two crossbow attacks on the big boy. Let's get those in. Sixteen points of damage over two shots as he just crossbow boom, boom, straight into old giant's chest cavity. Giant looks pissed at him now though. He's kind of just going for whoever's around. This this giant doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's not dumb. experienced. Uh, so yeah, nice. Take him on tougher rats. You think you'd have more of a bigger brain with a head like that, but with a very large head. It's got a long brain. <laughs> Top of the round. Long, it's the bro. giant's turn though. Uh, well, I was saying earlier, he's a great guy. He's in the middle of this, he's in the mixer. He's thinking, who do I go for? He's going to do Crash Bandicoot and just spin. <laughs> he's going to come down with two of these attacks. He's a uh, cyclone. <laughs> Actually, no. That's what he's going to do. He's not gonna do that actually. Let's say he's gonna do it for. He's gonna use one of his spells to misty step. What? I'm sorry. Yeah. He's gonna misty step. Oh, he's gonna run away <laughs> to me, I bet. <laughs> Zoop. And he's gonna be up here. Oh. No. Uh, no. 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 And. I don't have mage slime. <coughs> Balls. I think he's so he gets multi attack with like attacks. So he's used a spell. Spell is an action though. So he won't get an attack. The missed well. step is a bonus action. That's also a very good point. So he's now going to go for a rock attack no. and throw it at. Don't do it, guys. We did it. We killed him. This one. Ah, oh, not Caleb. <laughs> Caleb, please. What's your problem? Will that hit me as well? <laughs> or am I safe? I feel like there's going to boulder along that here. angle... Depends if he misses, if he goes wide. Yeah, come on Tim, you're great at angles on my angles. Yeah, that's a 17 to hit, which is unfortunately <clears throat> Caleb's AC. <clears throat> well there you go. Uh, you got down! Uh, 
so we're having a vigil later on for John and Caleb, yeah. So, I mean, Finn is... Arky wouldn't even care. <laughs> he's got the healing spells, but he wouldn't give a shit. I've got a healing spell. Be like... Stop. Their sacrifice was needed! Is that right? Yeah, it's pissing it down. Oh shit. What? Really needed that. Really needed that. Uh, for 22 points of damage on Caleb. He's still fine, isn't he? He's still standing. <laughs> hey! Just. But he does get a multi attack. But no, he only gets one attack with the, the rock, so. Yeah, it's yeah. a trade off. It's a trade off, so. Uh, pretty hurt, but still going. Uh, next up is this goblin, just here. Uh, he's going to uh, jump on down. 5, 10, 15, we'll say he gets to here. And he's going to go for a. Truco Little. Short bow attack on Finn. Getting a little short bow attack on you. Yeah, whatever, Gobbo. Uh, does a 16 hit? <laughs> Say, I'll it. save the spell slots and I'll just take it. Okay. Alright. <coughs> uh, for 6 points of damage. Hellish rebuke, you son oh. of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> so how much Mark damage, up. sorry? Uh, six. Six. Okay, uh, so, he's up a spell slot. So, as the arrow pierces me, uh, as blood initially begins to trickle out, um, it like burns bright, like almost like magma, mm. uh, and a load of fire comes out of the pummel of Levistus. Uh, I need the goblin to make a dexterity saving throw. Yes, DC sure. of 17. Oh. That's a 10. That's a 10. Okay, so let's roll some damage. So hopefully we're going big. That's good. So good. Fuck. Uh, so he takes... Uh, 31 points of fire damage as a wreath of smoke and flame bellow around him. As you hear him take the shot at you and start giggling, like, <laughs> and it hits you, how do you want to do this? Oh, that just mate. fucking <laughs> woofed him. Like he's been hit by a UK heat wave, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so as the smoke and the flame kind of begin to encircle him, it rises around him and it slowly starts to dissipate from the bottom up and as it does you just see like charred like skin melted to bone and it just like crumples to the ground. Hell yeah. That's hot. That's legit. Literally that's hot. <laughs> you gone. Ow. Oh, I really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smoking wreck. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright cool. So, uh, up next is Arc Eximus. Um, right, okay. Big boy's ran away because he's chicken. It's a little chicken shit. Um, he is too far away for him to hit. Are you... Uh, Lucian, you've gone away, haven't you? Oh, uh, yeah. Hidden. Yeah. A little bit too far for him. Uh, I'm sure we'll get a rest after this. Moonbeam! <laughs> <laughs> Moonbeam.com. Uh, so, yeah, so that's Moonbeam straight onto the giant. He won't okay. take damage until the start of his turn. Okay, cool. Uh, is there a save for it? Uh, so, at this. So, yeah, so on each of. Uh, when a creature enters the spells area for the first time on. He turn or it starts its turn there is engulfed in flame, so it doesn't have to do anything at the moment. Okay, cool. It's just when it starts its turn, it'll have to make a save. You're good to remind me when we get to that, but yes. Will do, sir. Stunning. Anything else from Uh That is um, all it can do, other than, I don't know, he kind of move into the centre of this area and just kind of. Come on, mate. Just try and goad him. Yeah. <laughs> you want nice. Sam? You want Sam? I'll give it, yeah. Got no grounds. Nice. Alright, cool. Uh, Lucian, you're up, baby. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna use my bonus action first. Okay. 
to attempt to hide behind this tree. Okay. So I'm assuming I would have noticed a giant appear behind me. Well, he's up about 50 feet, so you might, ah. you might not necessarily straight away clock him there. But okay. go for your movement. Um, he... Yeah, what you saw... Actually, you probably wouldn't have even seen him woof bamf, so you don't even... Okay. You would have seen his head poking thing. over the top, though, and then you would have seen it disappear. So you'd know he's moved, but you don't know okay. necessarily where to. In that case, yeah, I'd try and find a new vantage point to look for him uh, after I've moved. So yeah, I'll uh, try and hide. Okay, cool. Go for it. Um, if you want to move and then do a stealth check for me... Yeah. Pretty close! Um, uh, 27. 27. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I just have to make a perception check. Because uh, I don't know where he is. Yeah, go for it. Uh, dirty 20. He's not hiding, so yeah, you do see him from there. Okay. Um, go for an attack. I won't. Like yeah. I'm a cool mum, not like a cool <laughs> mum. I just ran you doing the house. You're a soccer mum, that's yeah, what you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me in your car. Got the cheese strings. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I'm good. hidden, mm-hmm. you I will get... sneak attack this. Yeah. Wow. Go for it. Sneak attack! So roll to attack first. Where am I? Yeah. Where are my D20s at? <laughs> Where my people there? Uh, dirty know. twenty. Yeah, that, that, that'll get him. Okay, so first up we have five. Mm-hmm. Plus eleven. So sixteen altogether. Nice. Piercing. Very nice. You just hear this moaning. Not <laughs> sexual, but. <laughs> like so. As he's just getting thonk thonk thonk. Thonked. Thonked. Ah, but donk a donk thonk. Dala, you're up. What is up? What's up, my man? So can I see What's him from where I am right now? Uh, gives us a perception set for this. I need to get an iPad. I need an iPad. Oh. Um. That is a dirty 20. Yeah, he's not hiding uh, from your quick look around, your keen eyes. You spot him at the top of that. All right, I'm going to fire some shit at <coughs> him. Sorry. Or like a chimp for him. No, arrows, actually. Oh, uh, not actual shit. Yeah. <laughs> Probably that. Um, yeah. First arrow, aim for the neck. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. Uh, yes, that will hit him. Hell yeah, and it's all marked from before. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna add my extra damage. Damage! That is, ooh, um, 10, 14 points of damage on the first hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I'm gonna unsheath my second arrow in a flurry of just glorious sexiness. Um, and then a, a dirty 20. Oh, nice, yeah, that will hit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is. Um. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. Seven plus six is fourteen points of damage. That's it. It's thirteen. Thirteen points of damage. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. There's thirteen. Nice. Tell you what, I have been rolling the wrong dice for my. Favourite foe. Let me roll that again. Really sorry, buddy. Um, still the same. Okay, cool. So yeah. Same map damage. Same map damage. Stunning. <laughs> Love that for you. Thank you, Annie. Brilliant. Are you doing anything else? <coughs> this time we were? Uh, I'm going to. Yeah, move around here again. Out of line of sight. Out of mind. You know what they say? No sight, no problem. Is that a boy? I'm coming! Uh, Finn, you are up. Fog of water. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hey! Um, he's gone away, and I've taken care of the pip squeak. Um, <laughs> so, um, I'm not gonna use all of my spells. 
So I'm just gonna do an Eldritch Blast! Eldritch Blast! Uh, at the big guy. Big boy. Uh, uh, oh, actually, that's still not terrible. Uh, 14. It will miss, unfortunately. Son of a ball sack. Which, technically, most of us aren't. <laughs> He's not wrong, he's making a lot of sense, sir. Really. The more you know. <laughs> and that's a 19. Ah, uh, that will hit him. Perfect. Wow, wow, so that is going to be a perfecto patrol. Oh, okay. That's a 10 on the D10. Damn. That's my free because he is hexed for 13 points of damage. Oh, goodness. He's looking hurt. Yeah, he's hurting, baby. Like, yeah, run away. <laughs> <laughs> Can't handle the might of us. <laughs> Ooh, just That's some real trash talk right there. <laughs> he, uh, he's hearing this and he is responding, but not in a language. Actually, do any of you oh, 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 understand oh, 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 oh. giant? No. Uh, no. Sarcaxmus? Uh, don't think he does. No, not for me either. No. You just hear. <laughs> In response to where the, you know. Yeah, keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, cool. Uh, Commander Lovenor's up next. He's going to go for some crush balls on that baby. Yeah, no, 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 baby. Oh, uh, baby. He's going to hit. Baby bear. Okay, he's going to go for two attacks with it. Whoa. Good second. Out. Doesn't hit. Tonight. Commander. One boy. <laughs> Gets a rock thrown at him. That's <laughs> four. So that's seven points of damage from his two attacks. And then, last but not least, the older Caleb. Caleb, yeah. Caleb. Caleb. Uh, he's going to go for a shot at him. Come on, Caleb. Let's see what he does. This. Use the power and might of teamwork. Uh, teamwork. Friendship. Both worth. Just. <laughs> He's just like, cool. <laughs> just blood pouring out of his mouth, kind of leaning back, just <laughs> into the air, and they just go fucking wide. And yeah, no luck there. Is he leaning back? He's leaning back. Leaning back. back. Lean lean back. back. Uh-huh. You pull yeah. up your pants and do the rock. I lean back. I lean back. Uh-huh. I lean back. Uh-huh. Next time, Caleb, just breathe. <laughs> <laughs> it's with this. Our boy goes for another jump down. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oof. Yeah. And lands oh, here. Oh, do a kick flip. <laughs> do a do a barrel roll. Um, oh, he's up. Could I get all of you that are within five feet of him? So Lucian and yeah. Arcaximus to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Easy with my game tea dice. <laughs> uh, 14. 14. 10. Ooh. So you both take five points of damage as he lands. Kind of directly onto you and send you flying a little bit. We'll say you'll also be not prone with those. Ugh, it's fine. Eek. Eek. Don't want to finish him off anyway. And um, then he's going to go for his so attacks on, on Yarl. So first of all, he's going to make an attack at you, Finn. <laughs> What? He's gonna make an attack on you with his great sword. Ah, uh, what? Just because I was. You were heckling him. He's uh, coming for you now. People can't handle hecklers these days. Uh, sure. Does a you sixteen hit? Does a shield? Shield. Nice, nice, like that. Crackling orange energy. With that, <coughs> I think he's even more annoyed at you. Nah, nah, come on now. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Bring it on. It's gonna go through again. Sally lips. Uh, does a 26 hit. My word. It's a tripod. I need use luck. Ah-ha! There's an eight on the die. So that means... So whatever his modifier is to that. Uh, what, minus that comes off his attack? 
No, that instead of the roll that you got, oh, the he's six, just 14. rolled an eight. So he instead rolled, that was 16, that's eight. Uh, so I think that will still hit. And that's an 18. Guess what? But shield, AC's 21, mate. Nice. 21. So this, yeah, this, this guy has just bounded at you, bounding over. <laughs> and he's just tried to wail on you. And he's just... <gasps> just like, he's fuming. But he's not getting any luck. <laughs> so with uh, the listeners up, um, yeah, yeah. The, the kind of like crackling orangey flame-like shield. Uh, it looks like it's about to waver. But there's like a weird shimmer to the air around us and remains steadfast. Nice. Uh, 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 what's alive? <laughs> so proud. Um, because I only had 23 hit points and he probably would have killed me. Mm -hmm. With that, I missed his death's a bonus it. action, right? He's he gonna. Can't keep getting away with this. He's Somehow gonna back the up. Returned. <laughs> To here now. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, leave Caleb alone. Kiss him. Come back here. Can you kiss him? That is his go. And I think when he takes two great sword attacks, he then casts fog cloud, but that wouldn't work with the bonus and stuff. So we'll leave the fog cloud out of it for now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's his go. Arcaximus. You're currently prone. You're on the floor. You're knocked over by this boy jumping on down. Shit. What you going? What you? What you going to do? Oh, well, we didn't roll, oh, I completely forgot, damage so, for, so yes. roll a constitution saving throw for me, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, 22. <laughs> yeah, he saves, so he only takes half damage, which would be... That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, 15 reduced to 7? Seven? 7. Yes. Mm -hmm. Still, damage is damage. Damage is damage, yes. Um... <clears throat> Shit. Okay, so half movement to get up. Five, ten. Uh. Um, what's, what would be your ruling with um, a <coughs> standing jump with only five feet of movement left? <laughs> yeah, hi. What are you trying to do? Get up on top of the barricade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi, DC. I mean, he's got nothing else he can do. Because um, he's he doesn't have line of sight of him. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And I don't think he has any ranged weapons. He's got his glaive out. Yep. So um, he's okay. just going to try and jump up. Okay. Go for it. Go for uh, what? Athletics. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Eh. What's the worst that don't could say happen? It. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing he runns up to the barricade and just goes, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't get the clearance. Like a video game character kind of figuring out how to work the game. <laughs> yeah, they just smash the button, he's just gone up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, nice, nice. Well, <laughs> well, well. As, as he's got nothing else he can do, um, uh, he's going to use. Uh, Shit, it's touch. Never mind. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, pipe boy. Uh, no, yeah, fuck it. Uh, he's gonna cast bless. Bless okay. up. Bless, bless up, baby. On him. What's up, baby? Uh, it just says uh, up to three creatures of your choice within range. Does that include yourself? Oh, yeah, it can be. So. Yeah, it can be. Uh, himself. Um, uh, Commander and uh, Lucian. Nice. Because he doesn't trust me. Bless up! There you go. Uh, that's what he can do on his turn. Nice. Is that concentration as well? It is concentration. Stunning. And it's glass. Uh, yeah. Lucian. <laughs> Lucian. Lucian, you're up. Uh, okay, I want to raise <laughs> myself up. Uh -huh. So that's half your movement to get back up again. Yeah. You raise me up. Well, um, bear in mind the barricade is an obstacle across the whole way, so if you want to get over it, you have to climb. Okay. How high up is the barricade? It's probably about. <coughs> how tall is a person? No, it's probably about <laughs> ten foot. <laughs> ten foot. <laughs> ten foot. Yeah, yeah. So you wouldn't be. You'd be able to see like the top of his head, maybe, but it wouldn't. It's almost like he's in cover, basically. Okay. If he was to take a shot. 
take the dirty shot. I'm gonna take the dirty shot. The I can take shot. the dirty shot on my dog. <laughs> 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 Right the crack. Yeah. Um, Schmidt fuck the captain's daughter. Schmidt fuck the captain's daughter. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck. You could try and climb up on top of it. But you probably wouldn't. Lucian, there's a pack of cigarettes at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure one that I've still got. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you got me there. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna uh, bloody hide again. You're gonna hide? Yeah. You're gonna hide? <laughs> Don't cry. Uh, what time of music are you gonna hide? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you go for it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go out that way. If you roll a stealth trick. 25. 25. You feel like you're hidden. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go for anything else? As I said, you probably see his head poking up above the barricade from that angle, so if you wanted to take a shot. No oh, harm in it, is there? Yeah. Huh? No harm in it, is there? Oh, and I'm hidden, so... Yes, it yeah. does hit. Uh, so that would be if he's got extra cover from the barricade. Uh, oh, that's just right. even out, right? No, so just it should AC say on your cover. screen, um, oh, yeah. one if he's got half cover or three quarters cover, Please. they give him a bonus to his AC. So you still get advantage, but like, just harder to hit. Services, obscured areas. <clears throat> cover. Three quarters cover. Sony's head sticking out. Yeah. So plus five, okay. So yeah, go for it. If you want to go for your attack. No advantage. Uh, Depends if he was hidden. Yeah, you're hidden. So. I'm hidden. Oh. No. No, no. <laughs> he, no you're, he rolled well on his perception, so yeah, it wouldn't. Dirt. Uh, 13. No, it misses. It just uh, <laughs> into the barricade. <laughs> Whiff mode. Whiffed. Cool. Careful, uh, you could have shot Caleb. <laughs> uh, don't uh, really no Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Darla, you're up, baby. Let's fucking go. Okay, I... Yo, what's up, Darla, baby? Take me to Dilla. I'm taking the fucking Dilla, bitch. Uh, I'm just going to swoop round. Poke my head out. Uh, so this blocks the entire uh, path, so you'd have to climb up. Or climb up here to get... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I'll climb. On top of here. Okay, uh, roll a athletics or acrobatics just to. Acrobatics. <coughs> really? Um, 13. You use all your movement getting there. Okay, can I see him? You can see him, yeah, he's right there. Alright. <gasps> Howdy. Uh, yeah. Fancy an arrow in your face? Well, here's one. Oh. And he's just. Are you saying it's in common? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's just <laughs> back at you. I just thought that's true. Don't be bad, That's an uh, 17 to hit. That will hit. Mm -hmm. Uh, 12. 12. Twelve points of damage. Pretty Twelve please. points of damage. <laughs> I was doing math. <laughs> That's for the first one. I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I've got a quiver on on my leg, so I'm gonna take out from my leg and be like, "Hey, bitch, what's going on, bitch? There's another arrow for you." <laughs> oh, I didn't need to roll to attack first. Sorry. Oh, no. uh, ooh, that uh, is twenty-one points of damage. I mean, twenty-one to hit. Yes, yes thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, and the damage is uh, seven plus six is thirteen plus a three. That's a sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, that's sixteen points of damage. Nice. Oof. Uncut charms. <laughs> charms. I was his muse during uncut charms. Can I like backflip off? You've yeah. used all your movement. Okay, it's down here. Yeah, cool. cool, cool, cool so cool, unless cool, cool. no, yeah, I don't have anything I can do with that. Yeah, cool. No reason. Cool. I'm gonna stay there and be like. 
Hey, I am not a threat. I respect you, you and your culture as a giant. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. I feel yeah. like, you know, being big, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Finn, you're up. Oh, hello. Um, uh, I don't have any spells to get up there. So <clears> do I have the movement, is the question. Does he have the movement? I got the movement. Give me some. I got the movement. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I think we're all boiling our brains Five, yeah. right now. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> With my insanely high strength, I would like to try and climb up this barricade. Go for it. So is that athletics? Sure thing. Yeah. Or acrobatics. No. Athletics. athletics. It's the worst, but it's, it's more the smell. <laughs> Five. Nah. Five. Nah. <laughs> Just jump up at him. Try you and scramble. To anybody watching, you and Arcaximus right now, it is like someone's playing a video game and hasn't figured out the buttons. Because <laughs> you're just running up to this object and you're just going, boop. Uh, Wait, is that a jump or a yeah. slide? Cool. Is that A cool. or B I just pressed? Um, I've got movement left, but I can't get anywhere. Um, we'll try um, again, if you want. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to go well. No. <laughs> uh, instead, what I will do is use my action to touch my rod. Damn, <laughs> excuse me. I did this last time. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with it. Someone call the police right away. And with that, I can get a spell slot pack. Oh, nice. Because I might need it. That's hot. And that is my turn. Just kind of turn to Arky. Walls, hey. You <laughs> speak <laughs> giant. <laughs> um, nice. Cool, that's you, Finn. Uh, so, Commander Lovenor. He's going to run up to this barricade, he's going to try and ascend it. Come on! Somebody make up this fucking barricade! <laughs> <laughs> Just me and yeah, on he's going to make it up there. Hey! Nice one. Oh god. Nice James. one, bro. Nice one, James. Nice one, James. Nice one, James. Uh, and he's going to, now he's got line of sight, take a shot at the big boy. So, two crossbows. Both hit, which is pretty damn good. So we'll roll some damage. Got this, Commander. He can do it! Slay the beast. Slay it. <coughs> it's close, but no cigar. Oh. Very close. Hit on it. Fiddlesticks, uh, James. Uh, what England, James? Nice. No, but that's you. <laughs> he's looking pretty hurt. Uh, and then it's going to be uh, old Caleb's turn. No, okay. He's going to oh, turn. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, can I see him attacking? Uh, what, Caleb? Yes. Uh, yeah, you can see him. It's on the barricade. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Oof, nope. That is a nine to hit on the first attack. That is a 15, so that also misses. Um, what does it? What does it? That's a 10 on the die. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. I tried. Oh no, no actually it would. Yeah, <gasps> it would. Do it, Caleb. For England. <laughs> For England, James. <laughs> that bit pad. It's uh. Just not enough to get it across oh the line! My God. Oh my last okay. luck point. <laughs> Wasted! <laughs> um, but yeah, he's he's hurt still regardless. Good. At the top of the round, it's the giant's turn. Oh, oh is it? Oh. Great. And the God. last person that attacked him <laughs> is Caleb. So he's going to go for one of his two multi-attacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, that yeah, hits. Yeah. You're dead. Why do I just get the feeling that like I'm just like cheering Caleb on and I'm just gonna get showered? <laughs> 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 
fucking guts. Bits. Um, yeah, I've rolled, I've rolled enough dice now. He's, he's As um, the giant just lets out this like ear deafening roar and just takes his great sword and plunges it right through the middle of Caleb, lifting him above the barricade. So he gets a bit closer. And just with it still hanging out of the uh, soldier, just gives it a yank and just splits him up the top of his oh, head as he just good. drops to the ground. Caleb! Covered in blood, but. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. It's pretty fucking horrific. That's very right, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, it's just shit everywhere. Should have saved my life for Guts. that, really. <laughs> yeah. um, and with his second attack after doing this, Hi. he's going to come down on you, yeah. darling. Bring it, bitch. Bring it, bitch. <coughs> for a 19 to hit. Oh, I'll hit for sure. Ooh, okay. It's my first damage of the game. <laughs> first damage of the game right. takes you out. <laughs> I'm dead now. <laughs> Still going. Um, 25. Oh, Decimal? 25 plus. Plus what? Plus what? 30, uh, 30 points of damage. <coughs> I'm alive, but good <laughs> lord. Level 5. Level 5. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, yeah, you so just get. 30 points of damage. My god. 30 points as he just. Comes from swinging up and taking out the soldier and just comes straight down towards you, just a, Oof, like that. And just fucks you up. And then. We've got this, everybody. I'm in pain! <laughs> <laughs> that was almost a one hit, not gonna lie. Ooh. I'm a squishy boy. Whoa. That's why I've been hiding. Um, With his uh, strength, he's just going to try and push the barricade over. Okay. Oh. Uh, he's oh, going to make a strength check. Can he do that? I don't think so. <clears throat> he tries, and it shakes, but it doesn't it doesn't go over. He's just <laughs> like, <laughs> Can I get uh, you to make a dex check for me? Yeah. Darla. It's 19. 19, you're fine, even though it wobbles a lot. Doesn't quite Seven. go anywhere. Seven. And for the commander... <laughs> yeah, he falls off. Oh no. He's like, oh fucking hell, shit! <laughs> Lance. <laughs> He's down. That's classic. Uh, nice. Cool, that's his go. Uh, Arcaximus. Oh. It is me. It is you. <clears throat> And use his movement to try and get up this bloody wall. <laughs> Go for it. Roll an athletics gym for me. Alright. Come on, big rolls. That's better. It's 19. Yeah. Makes yeah. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Make it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll get you. He's up at the top. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> he lives. He dies. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, insert words about uh, him being a giant and bad. <laughs> you shall be purged the unclean. That's what it is. There you go. There we go. Uh, nice. Right, two attacks. Big old swings with the glaive. Come on. Hit him. Get a nat 20. Uh, it's an 18. And a hit. And a 16. Uh, both hit. Lovely stuff. He's running low on spell slots, so why bother with that? Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. He's a trifle. I'm a part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is a total of 15 points of slashing damage. Come on. Fucking hell. There's a giant. A Two more. Yep, no. hit points. Much wow. Not yet, not yet. Not right from a Jedi. It's the big, it's like the early morning. We'd be silly to think that this is the only thing that we're going to have to fight at some point today. So let's not go up spat for spells. No, don't do <coughs> But he's looking fucking hurt at this point. Like there is blood flowing out of all sorts of cuts. It's 
scrapes, there's burn marks, there's Did bolts you know? hanging out of him. He hurting and he's wo- a little woozy. He's <laughs> kind of all of his movement, apart from when he hits, the rest of his movements are very kind of paced and you can tell he's, he's not in a good way. Heavyweights, am I right? <laughs> I'll get you like that, am I right? Lucian, are you baby? Uh, yes, yeah, same again. I'll just try and fire off uh, an arrow. Go for it. An arrow? An arrow. An arrow. Tell you man. Tell you man. Fuck it. Oof. Blessings upon you, sir. Peace be with you. Yeah, see what you don't realise is that I've actually been conducting a ceremony while I've been here <coughs> to conduct my sickness to you. This is dark. You have what I have. Condict it to you. You've got this to look forward you to. Shall be condict. Um, condict. No advantage for me. So you still? Oh, are you still hidden? Yeah. Roll a stealth check because you roll another one now. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, no advantage. Sorry, he still sees you. Uh, he is the Isle of Sauron. Well, fuck him anyway. I'll shit and arrow. Give him a shot. Dr. Pepper in it. <laughs> so what's the gap? Nah. TM. <laughs> Eleven in it. No, no. Sorry. A bit shaky. Arcaximus does shoot you a look though, as it flies <laughs> past him. <laughs> Steal yourself! <laughs> it's like, he's in the room with us now. Yeah. <laughs> Is he in the room with us now? <laughs> cool. Uh, anything else from you, Lucien? Um. <laughs> he did. No. Oh, fuck, can look bad. No. No. Oh, that, that big thing. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Dala, you're up. Okay. He's taking a shit ton of damage. I'm hurting. He's still gonna. He's still bearing down on you. Finish do, it. Right. Do I heal or do I finish oh, it? Healing's for losers. If you if make I it in the next round. Like clerics. On you. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna fucking. I'm gonna be really cool. Can I do this? What two two arrows at once. In the quiver in the bow. Is oh. your two attacks? My two attacks yeah. at once, is that cool? Ooh! If, like, if, one, if one worse we'll say it knocks the other mid air. Okay. Line up the shot. Feel the tension in the bow. That's very Release! <laughs> Release! Uh yeah, so they would both be twenty-five and twenty-six. <laughs> yeah, both hit. Mm. Nice. That's what you get for being. It's not shooting an arrow. Let alone two. Pretty good. Um, cool. Let's do a half boy. <laughs> <coughs> All right. First bit of damage. Hit him. Ooh. Baby girl. Uh, there's uh, 13, 14 points of damage for the first hit. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Uh, eight. 11 points of damage to the second hit. How would you yeah! do this? <laughs> so the two arrows that have flown from my bow, the first one hits him like, deep in like his, his chest, like right in the ribcage, and, like, like, and pushes forward. And then in true Lord of the Ring style, that opens his mouth up, and the arrow goes straight in his gob, and like, <laughs> and with that, can I get you and Arcaximus to make a dex check oh, as, no. as the giant <laughs> stumbles back, bastard. stumbles forwards, and collapses into the barricade? Hey! <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Natural 20 for some reason. You fucking superhero landing, backflip, <laughs> fucking Matrix stuff. <style. laughs> <laughs> Slow mo, it all freezes. Uh, Actually, backflip off his head. Arky. <laughs> Arky falls backwards, oh, come lands on prone as the barricade tumbles down. Oh shit! <laughs> and the giant collapses over the top of it. Loud? Um, so loud? <laughs> Is that a weed? Nice. Is that a giant? So yeah, you're out of combat. Hey. Um, Good as time. as everything kind of quiets down, you've steeled yourselves. <laughs> He's in the room with us now. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> 
you uh, you take stock, and uh, the commander just goes, Jesus fucking Christ! What the fuck happened? I've gone Liverpoolian. <laughs> it's good. He's going around. <laughs> Mr. European. Okay. Yeah, Mr. North of the border. Um, Why would you put a blockade here? Well, we thought we were trying to stop the worst coming through, and the fucking worst showed up. You forgot your milk, dear. <laughs> <laughs> it's the heat. You're a little flash. Like, what Oops. was that? What the fuck was that that came out of my mouth? I'm going to run over to the corpse of. Um, um, Caleb. Hmm. <coughs> I'm just gonna hold his hand. You were the best of us. <laughs> um, you do it for like <laughs> half an hour. He was yeah. a good man. <laughs> can I run over to John? Yeah, yeah. Is he. Can I stabilize him with kill wounds? Is he dead, dead? Oh, they both fucked. So. <laughs> so, John. Got split in half, so his top right. section he's, is elsewhere, yeah, yeah, he's dead. and uh, Caleb is kind of so back to go from from the chest up is just split down the middle. Ah, oh, like so a nice I flower. If I just squish them together, we might be able to do something. Two parts of like his tongue. Which is in Don't two be parts. so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. Uh, oh, keep he's please. back. <laughs> he's <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cedric's body. Seeing as everyone's going over to everyone, I'm just going to go to the giant, put my cigarette out on its corpse, and just sort of sit on it and try and catch my breath. <laughs> um, so cool looking, as well. <laughs> legs folded. Just... Even though it's morning, it's just golden hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nala, Nala. That's the name, name, right? Yeah. Nala. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was just going to say a little, um, under her breath, a little, like, blessing upon uh, John's body while holding something in her hands. Nice. John's body. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at this point, uh, Commander Lovender just goes, Right, I, I'm not fucking staying here now. I've lost my boys. I'm still taking you with me, though. Oh, God. I'll go to your cart. Um, so your car is still on its side. Oh shit, we take your cart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, are we still uh, prisoners or have we now proven to you that we are here to help? I can trust you. I know I can trust you now. Ah, yes, but can. you're the only people that seem to know what the fuck happened. Not you, no offence, but they're you. You seem to know what happened at that fucking festival. Okay, no. <laughs> Uh, well, you quit crying, man. Uh, he knew what he was getting into. It's just really? taken so young. Aye. Aye, it's sad, really. But we ain't got time for that. And to get on the road. Okay. I would like to, before we set off, um, uh, Lucian, uh, have we. Do you want to check the big guy, see if he's got anything on him? You look like the kind of person that, you know, robs someone whilst they're dead. Yes, but you know, I'm a normal sized man and giant men don't have anything. I don't know what you're maybe, saying. Maybe we uh, use loincloth for like a uh, top or something, like a tent. Uh, question Won't you help me to... fold it? <laughs> question to the DM. Would oh. I know anything about um, giants in terms of if they are likely to keep anything on them or if they're just more like uh, they let it hang loose. Oh, you can Roll. probably just see that. Roll a Especially nature. Especially now taking the loin Nature. Nature or nurture check. No, yeah. no nature. Roll. Sure. I'm great at that. <laughs> Natural one. Yeah, no, you've got no idea. Um, he could have bezied. bezied? <laughs> he could have buried treasure on him. <laughs> Up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if... Uh, you want to look for it to be my guest, but um, I'm sure you'd find it buried on his body. Well, you know, he looked like he was crossing a border, so... Um. <laughs> it was a border we set up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go over to the giant and just have a rummage. 
Okay, investigation check. Are you both? I'm ripping the cloth. Oh, oh. <laughs> you strip it oh. and make it. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Okay. But investigation or just robbing his clothes? I'm just trying right. to take. Well, it started off as like an idea, and actually, maybe if no one's got to help me, I'm just like, yeah, probably not a good idea. Okay. I can buy cloths anywhere. I'm yeah. just trying to get you to help me look. If you're not going to try and like search him, I will search him. I hope search so. Okay, I will give you advantage. Okay, Dala, what did you. Uh, I was 10. 10, okay. Oh, that Lucian Nala. Nala. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold Nala like Darlington. Nala Darlington. Nala Darlington. Flesh. I will get that. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> right, mate. Put your dice away. Yeah, I put mine. Uh, 17. Okay. Nala Darlington. <laughs> you don't really find anything. You, he's got clothes on him. Some kind of like basic, yeah, clothing really, just kind of rags and whatnot. Um, for you, however, you find with that roll uh, a little pouch with ten gold in it. Ooh. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll say just that for now. He's obviously got his big weapon, which is a great sword, but that's too big for any yeah. of you lot to handle. Um, and yeah, that's that's it. Maybe we split. <laughs> hey, you found some money! High five! <laughs> oh, <laughs> not you. Uh, uh, we're build up to it. Yeah. I feel like I'm in Paris. At all the cafes being served by him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. When you go to high five, his hands are preoccupied with a cigarette. And the tinderbox. Uh, I'm about to spark up another cigarette. Another <laughs> cigarette. <laughs> Double. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get there, Lucy. We don't call the dog. <laughs> Lucy, Arky, and Fen. And wait, who are you again, sorry? Uh, Nala. And Nala. <laughs> and Lovendor. It's Lovendor, right? Lovendor. Right. Oh, I, it smells great. What? Lavender. Oh. Let's go, team! Right, get in the car. <laughs> we'll right, we'll go up to the Traveller's Pass and then we'll head over to Golden Pass. Um, I know there's a teleportation circle there, so we can... <gasps> Oh, I've always wanted to use one of those. Aye, right, well, you're coming with me, so you're going to have to, you know... Friend? I wouldn't call it that right now. Okay. All right, don't get... I'm not... feeling... I'm, look, I'm just... Uh... We've all just gone through something very traumatic with each other, and we've come out the other side. Okay, so I feel like we're doing some some bonding here. It is odd that the giants are out this far now. It's very crazy. It sounds like there's been a lot of crazy shit going on. Yes, uh, and just to be clear, I'm not under arrest anymore. Is that is that okay? I mean, <coughs> no, you're under my care. No. So, look, I don't need to be cared for. I just no. I need to take all of you back with me. I'm fine to do that willingly, I just want to make sure I'm not under arrest. I haven't done anything no. wrong. No, you're not. Cool, well, that's, that's fantastic. But don't go wandering off, because... Sure, sure. You're, you're quite important now. Well, I thought you said I hadn't seen it. Alright, well not you, but... Yeah, well, just making sure. Well, yeah, alright. Okay. I get think, in the car! Okay. I think what he's trying to say is that you're now, even though you don't know anything, you're actually privy to information that could be quite important, so it's good to keep us all together, because otherwise you might leak that information <coughs> to the wrong people. Aye. Eh? I'm not all that eloquent, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, Thank you for clearing that up for me. Um, so was it... Uh, thin. Thin, yes. Like a shark, a like knot, a, shark. a <laughs> measurement of weight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I get that one tomorrow, I don't really understand that. What are you... Oh, right, right. It's okay, Lucy. Come on, let's go. <laughs> uh, right, I'll take first the ride of the cart. Who's going to ride up front with me and keep an eye out for shit? I will! I'd definitely ride it back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, right, I'll do a little hand and check for the boy. Uh, if you want to roll a perception check for the first part of the journey. Oh, I didn't realise it would be that. Yeah, riding up front. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, it's fine, I've got my pass rate from 19, but it's all good. Oh. What do your elf and I see? <laughs> <laughs> what you got for me, baby? It's a 9. Oh, okay. Right. Yep. I have not rolled above a 10 for perception so far. <laughs> in this game or the last. Yeet. It's life or the next. That's pain. That's you're in Spain without the S. On the pain. Um, you rolled so, a twenty-two for animal handling, so the car is nice and steady. You have plenty of time to steady, rest. Steady. Steady. What we call it. The so first. I've got an arm, uh, like just around the back of Commander, leg crossed over. So what did you want to be when you were older? Just keep your eyes on the fucking road. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't need all three of you to tell a story about what happened. <laughs> I'll tell you the story of when I first met a special person in my life. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Christ on a cracker. He literally puts his head in his hands <laughs> next to him. He's still somehow right, like riding the he's cart forward, but he's up. he's a talented guy. <laughs> um, so yeah, you've probably got a few hours on the road to Travellers Pass. So are you? Would you say a short rest? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Roll your dice. Get your short rest. If, oh, if the dark, so the dark axe must take any damage. He took like four points of damage. See, people, this is how you pilot someone else's character and don't get them killed. What? You, hang, hang on. <laughs> What do you mean by that? That seemed very aimed. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I've never... Uh, I've never killed another man's character. Never done that. Oh, D10s. Hell oh, yeah. And you use two and I'm back to full. Back in biz. You all look in. You're back to full, pretty much. I'm one off full. One off full. And I've got my spells back. Yeah. Spells back for <laughs> your baby. I've got horses in the back. <laughs> horse in the back. But I don't get my luck points until I finish a long rest. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Keep me honest. Oh, I get one for that. Oh. Cool, so that's... And just as you're going through, just whilst you're finishing on that, you know, you go through this kind of gorge, ravine, road for probably about 30 minutes and it levels back out to fields, a bit more open terrain, um, some wooded areas in the distance and in the far, far distance towards the east, you see a mountain range, uh, which just kind of covers the horizon and keeps running along parallel to you as you follow the road. You've got your... Hit points back. Yeah, yeah. And this is all, this oh, would all be oh. new to Finn. <coughs> Sorry. Because I haven't been this far outside of Waisal. No, yeah, this would be, because you, yeah, you wouldn't have been this way before, so yeah, yeah, yeah this would be all new. It's quite nice. Yeah, apart from all the death and destruction. <laughs> to be totally honest, I've had quite a calm go here so far and this is all seeming a bit odd. Well, you know, you get your good ba good days and your bad days. Tell that to John and Caleb. <laughs> this just got split open. I should feel sadder about this. Uh, trauma has a way of manifesting later on. Perhaps mm. you'll feel different at some point. Aye. Would you like a small play to come in now? Aye. Oh, was... oh. <laughs> that was so wet. No, no, that's a good shit. This is normal tobacco. Aye, it's quite calm, I think, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, anytime. So whilst you guys are in the back of the car, any conversations, anything at all? Or we just to take a hard swig, mm. thinking about John, Caleb. R.I.P. 
The Nirochi told us where they picked you up. Were you just a bystander or...? Uh, I seemingly wandered into the blockade as I was trying to figure out... By what... foot or were you... Yes, in yes. I was, I was helping some, uh, some people uh, escape from some uh, bad men and, and uh, yeah, I found myself here. Not quite sure how, but uh, so love you. Yeah. I don't understand. That. <laughs> You're from uh, this area. I'm. I'm quite. Yes, my village is, is just up in Mockwood. Is that what I said right? Yeah. Mockwood. Mockwood. Uh, Mockwood. Mockwood. Could I get uh, Arc Aximus to roll an insight check on Nava? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's 10 on the dice. Uh, plus 4. This is just into the validity of, uh, of like, helping people from bad people. Okay. Uh, I don't need to roll anything. <clears throat> yeah. It's I'm not trying to deceive or anything. So. No. No. It seems like they're telling the truth. Yeah. Um, in Elvish, I'll then say to you, many elves in M- Markwood? Mickwood? Mawkwood. Mawkwood. Uh, reply back in Elvis. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's just my village. And, uh, yeah. There could be a few other dotted around, but quite a secluded place. Let's see. Commander, what are they talking about? <laughs> they seem to be having a private conversation. Oh, I don't know, I've not really been listening in, to be honest. <laughs> Are you an elf? I didn't. I speak Elvish. Oh, but what? Yeah. You're not. Well, I'm not an elf. And I can't understand what they're saying either. It's fine. Um, Sounds I'll, magical. Mm. I'll say uh, in Elvish again about it. It's very nice to see someone speak the tongue. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> I've had many employees over the years and I'm lucky enough to have worked with the uh, elves before. Well, it is appreciated. Thank you, sir. So as you carry on the road, uh, could I get anybody want to swap out for? I'm happy to go up front. Finn for, for a um, perception. I am beat. <laughs> get back in the in the back. It's with the boys. <laughs> probably about like <laughs> mid. I don't fall asleep. <laughs> it's probably like early afternoon at this point because the the road's quite quite a, well. It's probably another hour or so to travellers pass. Yeah. Perception yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, 15. 15, okay, cool. Uh, I'll get him to do another animal handling. So, Lucian, tough fight back there. Yes, very tough. Uh, I'm not used to fighting enemy that big or that uh, up close. You know, I've done many jobs before where I had to take down enemy, but nothing that direct. Yeah, you say you can't. You know, you you take jobs. What can, what do you do? Uh, like a cleaner. I clean up situation before it gets out of hand. I help prevent situation. A little bit of uh, spinage, okay. murder. Oh, okay. I was about to say you're being very vague, but now you're being very direct. Well, so like murdering bad people. To me, they are bad if I have to murder them. Hmm. Okay. I'm, uh, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to... And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, <laughs> organization doesn't target people that do well by the community. Oh, oh, an organization? Hmm. Like a Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts, more, more likely. There is scouting involved. Oh, scout for cubs. <laughs> ah, more me. There's more to life than just guns. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Adventuring. i am uh, spent a lot of time at sea, let's put it that way. Seaman. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> oh. So, so hang on a second, so you do jobs that involve killing bad people, quotation marks, um, 
And then you're a seaman. Um, <laughs> you live uh, quite a varied life. Not bad for just 23, eh? Sure, you're just 23. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up, uh, you know, I had to start work very young uh, due to the nature of my business and my background. Leave it at that. Cool. That's, um, I feel like this bond is growing. Friendship could be in our futures. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yes, just cranky. I, you know, no one. I don't like to be spoken to before I've had more than espresso. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can see if we've got coffee. I just look around the car. There's no coffee. Do you know, you know how to make the coffee? You just put beans in a cup and pour hot water on it. Oh my god. <laughs> next, <laughs> next city can't come quick enough. <laughs> And as we're up front, uh, the commander just goes to Nala. I am sorry about being a bit harsh with you. Uh, it's been a confusing 24 hours, I'll tell you that. I, I can see that. It's been quite strange, hasn't it? Uh, for me in particular as well. Uh, are you okay? Uh, oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'll be alright. It's been quite brutal what happened to your, your, your comrades, your partners. Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. At least I've got you lot. <laughs> uh, sure, yes. Uh, anyway, when we get to... Uh, uh, you won't be my problem when we get to Zragate, so it's fine. Yeah, who are you uh, taking us to? Uh, anyone special? I'm going to have to bring you in front of, you know, the council if, if they'll have you. Oh, the council? Um, council of Seven. Who, who's the, the Council of Seven? I'm not familiar with them. <laughs> You're not familiar with them? Or am I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a history check. <laughs> Fucking eleven. You would know that they're the kind of like government of Zrage, oh, okay. which is one of the bigger of all the city empires and stuff. Oh, I see. We're going to the the big choosers then. Well, I if uh, if they don't know what happened at the festival and they think it was an attack from another city or another empire, then that could be bad. Yes, could cause a lot of problems. So we don't want problems, do we? <laughs> well, ideally, not. No. Well, uh, anything I can. I possibly do to help, I will. Oh, as I said, you're helpful, so keep being helpful. I need to help an elf, yes. I see you <laughs> Very good. So you carry on the road, um, and you probably travel till late afternoon on the road, uh, again on, on the way, um, more kind of the mountain range that tracks parallel with the road is far into the distance, it's, it's the horizon, but it's, yeah, dominating that kind of horizon line. And the road opens out and it's just kind of planes either side of that road. Until you start to, in the distance with your perception, what was your perception again? Oh, it's uh, 17 or 19. 19. <laughs> um, you start to see some small buildings. Uh, and the commander just reaches out to you and says, I we're coming up to the traveler's rest, so uh, get yourselves ready. Um, we'll stop here for a bit. And as you, as your cart starts to approach the town, as you look out of the cart, it's quiet. The entire town seems deserted. There's lots of detritus of all these kind of carts and stables are emptied, but it looks like it was, you know, lots of stuff was knocked over. It was busy. It was like a quite a hasty exit from a lot of people. Um, and it's not a small town, it's quite a big market town, but it's not defended, there's no cities, like walls to it or anything like that, but as you come into the main square, yeah, it's completely deserted. Must be a big sail on somewhere. Oh, quiet. What's the sail? <laughs> sail! <laughs> um, Commander? Aye. Is it, is it normally like this here? No, this is weird. It's weird? Yeah, this isn't right. Should we be on guard? I... <sighs> well, night's coming soon. We should probably stay, but... Well, we'll, we find, stay. we'll find an inn and we'll see if there's anyone held up. Uh, 
take us there, I guess you know where the yeah. latest one is. Haunted Ghost Town. Classic adventure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he takes your cart to, as it's so quiet, he doesn't think to use the stables or anything or park up, so he takes your cart to the White Knight Inn. The White Knight Inn, eh? Bloody White Knight. The White Knight Inn. Um, Let me guess, it's full of fair maidens who need the help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's got like a three story building, kind of medieval structure, all the kind of wooden beams and all that stuff, low doors. And as you, who's, who's heading in first? I will. Go for it. Are you being stealthy or are you just going straight in or? Um, yeah, stealth isn't my strong suit, so I will just be. <coughs> <coughs> you cough your no, way through. Sorry, just call and response with coughing. <laughs> um, uh, I'll just I'll, I'll walk in okay. with my just my hand mm. at the ready. Cool. Um, hello! And as you open the door, uh, your hello echoes a little bit around the inn. Um, there's no response, there's no lights, there's no candles or anything like that. Even though it's like late afternoon, in certain parts of the inn it'd be dark and yeah, those areas are kind of darker, shadowed, but yeah, there's no, no, one, no response. I'm giving away free money! <laughs> You wait oh, a second. Really, nobody here. Wow. Okay. Still no response. Yeah. Guys, it's clear. Um, <clears throat> I would quite like to get on the roof if I can. Get a kind of high vantage point. Any way I can do that, like a ladder or. Um, anything. you could try. Yeah. Yeah. Or I could just do a quick scout around to see if anything. Fine. That's what I was planning to do. Yeah. We do you want to help one or another, or both roll? I've got pretty good stats on that. What were you rolling? Investigation? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can do it. What are you on? I should know. Never mind. Don't yeah. tell me. Um, yeah? Yeah, you can go for you it. Yeah. I'll um, sprout some elf ears and give you a wink as you look around. Steal yourself! <laughs> uh, we uh, go most haste before we head in! <laughs> uh, you have elven ears and then you don't. How is that? Possible. It's just a little party trick. Uh, oh, it's <laughs> always oh, so wet, licking yeah. around. Interesting. Do I know what he is? Uh, well, I mean, you can roll a nature check. Nature or history? Yeah. 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 Either one. Um, uh, go nature. Yeah, nature or history. Yeah. It's uh, twenty-five. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what did you just do? You just showed. A I bit. just pointed my ears up like an elf's. Okay, but you have normal. I have normal human ears, but I made them appear elven. I don't know if you. You get. It's not normal. But I don't really know how you'd explain that as a good twenty-five roll to know what he is. I think I don't think changelings are unknown. No. To people. Okay. So I think you just. Assume Suss that. out that that's yeah. what I am. Ah, okay. Ah, you're a you're a changeling. And then I put on Ark's face and just say, yeah. No, I don't. Uh, the dead boy from earlier, the one giving us a ride, I'll do his face. Terence. Oh, Terence. No idea who that is. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see it. Realized you were just that. crying just in the corner. <laughs> Guys, it's in. Oh, God! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Not Terran! <Terrence>. Um, <coughs> interesting. That's quite a handy trait you have. It helped me get to the right places. Seemingly, yes. Uh, well, uh, let me find out what the fuck's going on here. Uh, cool. That is a. 25. 25. 25 investigations. So as you head into the inn, um, there's lots of plates of food still sat on the tables. With that investigation, you could probably tell that it's probably about a day or so they've been sat there. Okay. So some flies are starting to infest 
Um, Has it been about a day since the thing fell? Yeah, um, let's wreck on that. Let's call it, <laughs> yeah, just short of that. It's probably about eight hours or so. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, eight hours or so. <clears throat> that would make sense. Yes. Yeah, eight hours. Um, so yeah, you figure out that that's happened. You keep going around. You see that some of the rooms are, again, kind of hastily exited. Lots of bed linen just kind of thrown about and stewed, like strewn around. Some of the clothing and like rails kind of just knocked apart. Um, you do manage to get to the roof or at least a window for a vantage point to have a look out. And you see the rest of the town, again, there's just mess and like people have left town very quickly. Um, yeah. Right. There's down. no one, you don't find anyone. Come down and, and relay this to everyone else. Doesn't appear to be anyone about and whenever the, the manner of which they did leave was quite a, quite a hasty one. I, I think we should be quite wary about staying here. It could be safe to assume that if they've left for the same reason everyone evacuated the last place, the festival, and maybe the same thing's happened here. Do we know why I wasn't there, so what's happened? Brain dogs. Brain dogs? Mm -hmm. He's a creature we never see before. I could probably knows a bit more about it than we do, but uh, city came under attack after a big light in the sky. Yada yada yada, soldier got possessed. We escaped. Oh, I, I, that's quite the story. Uh, mm, that was short version. Let me think, do I know anything about brain dogs? You try? Nope. Nope. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Sounds very odd to you. <laughs> well, that is strange. Look, night's gonna come soon. We should probably hold up here at least before we head on to Golden Pass. I'll take the shift. I haven't done one yet. I don't I take the need to sleep too much, so if you get tired, let me know. I need smoke break, but I need cover for that to not give away position. We're staying here at the White Knight Inn? Yes, so yes, yeah. It seems the best of places, any. It? Well, just in case they come back, I will put down nine gold to cover all of us, just in case they come back, you know. Okay. I leave it on the counter, a little note. Thanks for the stay. They've probably got a logbook you could write in, like, you know, hey! you know your comments, your feedback. <laughs> Lovely stay. <laughs> Love the day call. <laughs> Have you ever thought of retiring to run like a and b or something? Good, man. Mm. He's not near retirement age. I, uh... Oh. No, I've got a few more years in me, but uh, yeah, uh, that would be ideal. Love and Doris love rest, you know. You'll have a lovely time. That'll be the catchphrase. Hot shit bed. Hmm? Hot shit bed. We share a bed? Hot <laughs> shit bed in the love Ah, bed. Aye, yeah, hot yeah. shit bed in the main that suite, yeah. Oh. I see that dude while well, doing near Port Town. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good idea. You probably, get that one for free. You'd probably want to make that one a bit more expensive, especially if it's near a port town, because that will get stained. Oof. Stained <laughs> with what? Oh, semen. <laughs> huh? Huh? Um, <laughs> semen. <laughs> so <bad>. um, <laughs> you boys are quite crap, aren't you? So, as um, night falls, if any of you are looking for any foodstuffs or something to replenish your reserves, there's plenty of it in the inn that you could rob or steal, essentially. But plenty of food, plenty of drink, if you wanted to relax yourselves. Who wants dumpling stew? Uh, <clears throat> yes, that would be absolutely delightful. I love a bit of dumpling. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, Rustle up some dumpling stew. What, what check can I get you to do for that? Survival? Survival check, yeah. Go on then. Give us the good. Survival! That's a. That's a. Cough We might not make it to the next episode. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a. 17! You do a great job of making dumpling stew for everyone. 
I love my stew. <laughs> Make it stew for you. He sings as well. Nice. Beautiful. <clears throat> if you what a lovely voice. <laughs> a lovely, lovely voice. Thanks. <laughs> um, as, sorry, as, as I start singing, I'll whip out my little flute and play along with the singing Ooh. with my little flute. Nice. Give us a little, uh, give us a little performance know. check. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll see whether it's. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone it. starts gridding. <laughs> okay, I saw. Uh, Nineteen. It's a beautiful performance. A uh, nice, relaxing into your evening. You gonna say? No, no. It sounds like you're winding down. So oh what do no, 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 no! Go for it. What are you gonna say? Oh no! Uh, is the kitchen separate from like the main? area of this inn so it's uh yeah over three floors the main ground floor is just the bar um so the bar and loads of chairs and and like kind of stalls and um whatever and then behind the bar there is a kitchen area where you find all these like meats and dumplings um and ales and all sorts just about to say dumplings are disgusting (laughs) they are horrible wow (laughs) <laughs> Jesus. That's quite a passionate <laughs> opinion about dumplings, yeah. Any sponsors that are dumpling makers, please, you know, don't. Just a dumpling is what I imagine a testicle to look like. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you should know what a testicle looks like. He's right, you know. You have one. Well, no, yeah. I mean, like, inside the scrum. Oh, I see oh. what you mean. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> okay, so it's separate. Yeah. Okay. Same but building, but behind what, the bar. Once the music kicks in, um, as I'm preparing the dumplings, ugh, um, I just uh, want to have a, a quick chat. Um, uh, Le- Levistus, you, you in there? Oh yes, hello. Oh. <clears throat> what, a, what, a, what an afternoon. That's pretty wild. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you though, with the, the shield, really helped out actually. I feel like we probably uh, wouldn't have done too well with that. To be totally honest with you, if I had stepped in, yeah, I'd, I'd lost my uh, my main champion. So uh, yeah, exactly. Well, good job. Dynamic duo. We're really working well together, aren't we? We are. We are. Now, just quickly, vibe check on the new person. What are we saying? <clears throat> Do an insight check for. What is this? She seems fine. Okay, cool. Uh, no. She seems good mannered, well spirited. Yeah. Like she means well. And she's yeah. not attacked you yet, so. That's true. And she did kill the thing that was trying to kill you, so. Well, you know, to be fair, it was a team effort. Caleb and but John. She finished did their it part. off, so, you know. Well, I'm sure that Caleb would have done it if he could have. <laughs> so is he the one that got <clears throat> uh, split? No, 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 don't talk about it, it's too traumatic. We really need to work oh. on this. Look, look, you know, killing boars and rats is one thing, but seeing people... Mm. (coughs) You're really going to do it, aren't you? (laughs) I can't. I need to hold it in. (laughs) Don't throw up on the food. (laughs) (laughs) Don't throw up on their food. Come on. No. Bring it together. Okay. (sighs) But yeah. Okay, cool. Vibe check, good. <clears throat> okay, I just wanted to touch base. Um, how's life? Well, I mean, you're, you're helping me to uh, get around and see it again, so. Yeah, that's true. It's better than it was being stuck in that cave. Yeah, yeah. It's always it's weird being in caves. Yes. It's a good thing I fell on you. It's a good thing you died. <laughs> Happy accidents. <laughs> Look at us. Who'd have thought? Yeah. Huh? Who'd have thought? <laughs> um, right, anyway, the dumplings are getting a bit solid now. But yeah, if anything else comes up, uh, I mean, you know, an abandoned town, brain dogs. It's just all, it's just weird at the moment. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Keep on being my champion. Oh, I will. The good. Got great things ahead of you. 
Good things. Great mm. good things. Mm. This fucking stew. Uh, alright, alright. Dinner's ready! <laughs> <laughs> and you have served up a <clears throat> lovely dumpling stew oh, with a fantastic <throat> flute performance from Nala. And then you eventually all take to your various beds. Again, there's plenty of empty beds in this inn. Uh, plenty of spare, like, em like rooms for each of you, so there's no need for you to bunk up. Um, anything else before you drift off? Um, I think Arky will, um, <clears throat> will set the alarm spell mm -hmm. around his room. So around by the door, and if there's a window, the window as well, um, just so nobody can get in <coughs> without setting that off. Um, I think that is it. Cool, cool. Anyone else? Um, <coughs> Nala would not lay on the bed. She would like lay out a bedroll and sleep on the floor. Nice, nice. Um, I'll take watch on the roof. Okay, cool. So, as sleep finds some of you, and you take first watch, go get your perception check. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Quite, quite even. <laughs> you, you don't see anything. You notice how quiet it is. I notice how bad I'm jonesing for a cigarette, so I can't concentrate. And as you start to light up your cigarette... Mm -hmm. No. No? No. That's why I can't... Like, if I light it up, then oh. I'll be seen. Ah. But I can't concentrate, Without because it. I can't smoke. Nice. Okay. Well, with that natural one... You... Close your eyes briefly. Even if it's just a blink. But that blink turns into darkness for a long period of time. Could I get Nathan yeah. and Tim to leave the room? <coughs> oh. 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 Have fun with this. I'll give you a shout when you go back in. <laughs> so, as you close your eyes, <coughs> and as you fade into the black, time begins to pass you and what initially feels like you have just blinked hmm. and is a millisecond begins to drag out into something much longer. You can't seem to open your eyes again. You're still in this black. You still just you can't see anything. And you start to feel this feeling of ichor and tar in your throat starting to come up to a point where you almost vomit out all of this tar and this awful bile that is in your throat. And as you do that, you start to go through and relive those early moments of your life. Being raised by your original parents for a short while, but then other faces flash past you of other members of the Myriad who raised you and passed you around your entire camp and your group on kind of rotation. Mm. What kind of memories flash past you in your childhood? Um, learning to pickpocket, uh, laughing around campfires, helping cook, being in the way of adults walking, pickpocketing the adults that annoyed me, learning to fight with a dagger, um, being given the hellfire dagger as a reward. Uh, becoming friends with Piotr uh, as a child, those mm. are my main thoughts. Nice. And as you grow up in this memory, you have your first major assignment or mm. a secondment to uh, establishing that settlement in Stormfall. Yeah. Big job for you. Yes. The first one where you've uh, been really trusted to go out and do it on your own. Hmm. 
What kind of anxieties were giving you during that job? What kind of pressures were you under? What kind of things were playing on your mind? Um, it felt more like a test mm. uh, of loyalty as I had kind of, uh, what's the word, unconventionally uh, travelled the continent via ship, which is quite rare for a myriad to move around, mm. uh, especially not on land. So it was almost like it felt like I was set up to fail mm. and for months found it difficult to uh, uh, to find any sort of railroad uh, into the town and the city and work for Lucian was drying up and there was always a weird um, it, like an eerie feeling mm. in the town yeah so yeah maybe he was sent there uh, not only to fail but for something bad to happen to him. and as you were working there in the southern ward trying to expand mm. and plug those holes and things that needed to be done you came into contact with this dragonborn yes it seemed familiar to you yes it seemed that they knew you yeah and you got into an altercation and in that altercation, during your hand-to-hand -hand combat, and you start to relive this again, you have these flashes of the, the fast movement and the actions and you know, the battle that you two had. You took your dagger mm -hmm. and you stabbed the dragonborn, but seemed to wound you. That's correct. And how does it, as you did that, you had this feeling of this tar again that took you into this dream starts to fill your lungs and your body again, this kind of black, uh, awful ichor starts to befall you as you stumble out of the alley from the inn that you've been fighting with this dragonborn in. What are your last thoughts as you die? Why? And how? Um, if I stab uh, someone with the uh, Hellfire dagger, Mm. the purpose is you want to remove their soul mm. um, and in essence part of that moves through you which is always linked Lucian to his uh, powers mm -hmm. but in a sense it was felt like rather than removing this dragonborn soul uh, he was removing his own uh, through this act and as life leaves you and as the visions that you've been having of this alleyway, this final resting place of Lucian fade to black and the tar takes you and your lungs are completely filled and you just feel this trapped feeling and you hear a voice Another one for me You will be Ever so useful. Your skills will truly, truly push my agenda forwards. And you feel like you want to maybe talk back, reach out to this, but you can't talk. The tar in your lungs is just you. There's this pressure on you. You can't say a thing. <sighs> yes. You truly will bring about the end of things. Then you open your eyes again. You're still on the roof. Time doesn't seem to have passed massively. Uh, yeah, I get up, look around as quickly as possible, and sort of out of, um, <coughs> out of instinct. Mm light a cigarette as quickly as possible just to decompress and start pacing and whatever um, responsibilities I had are not my priority mm. anymore and I'm just trying to find a way to calm myself okay and with that you swap watch with one of the others boys if you want to come back in now kids Come. 
Go. Go. Sorry. <laughs> so. I was just listening to some ASMR. Oh. <laughs> so with you all finding rest and uh, the commander taking the next watch, we'll call it an end for a session there. Okay, okay. <coughs> It's quite a long one, sorry guys. It's alright, it was great. Sorry for you guys at home as well listening. That was quite a long episode, but hopefully it was a... Uh... To be fair, it was only three hours. A short That's price to pay. Uncut. Uncut. Before, Before the... Before the trick ceremony. Trip. Snip snap. Oh yeah. Before the... Oh. <laughs> Briss. <Ooh. laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for uh, joining us again for another episode. Uh, Dungeons Dice and Dudes. Hopefully, uh, enjoy it. No, Have a lot of fun. thank you, George. No, thank you guys. You all make this. You're the real um, heroes. <laughs> but yeah, um, again, look out for us on all of our various social medias. Uh, search in Dungeons Dice and Dudes uh, or Dungeons underscore Dudes on some platforms. Don't forget to have a little listen to our sister podcast, Thinking Critically. And also, do not forget about our fantastic discount on uh, Game Tea with using the Briggsy. That's T H E B R double B R I double G S Y at checkout five percent off your order. I think that's all the messages. But yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Crikey! <laughs> 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 <laughs>